What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? At long last, my stand-up special, Imperious, is going out on the Have A Word podcast YouTube channel on Wednesday, the 11th of January. It's also my birthday. I want you to do me a favour. I want you to watch it. I want you to comment on it. I want you to like the video. I want you to share it on your socials. I want you to put it in all your WhatsApp groups. I just want as many people as possible to see this stand-up special. I'm very proud of it. It's took a long time to edit it. I've paid for it myself. I've produced it myself with the team here at Have A Word. It's a Have A Word production, and it is going out Wednesday, the 11th of January, youtube.com slash have a word pod. Please go and watch it. You can put it on your telly. It's in full 4K, massive ultra HD. We've worked our asses off on this. Please do me a favor and go and watch this special. I would really, really appreciate it. And if you like it, spread it round. And do you know what? If you hate it, send it to everyone anyway. I don't care. I just want it to get views. Okay. Adam Rowe, Imperious, 11th of January, youtube.com slash have a word pod. Watch it, share it, like it, comment, all of that good stuff. Nice one. Appreciate it. ta What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? As you may well be aware by now, it's not just these public episodes we do here at Have A Word. We've also got a Patreon membership. But you know what? I don't want to give you any of the details about that today. And I know Dan doesn't either, because we're here with our assistant to give us all the info we need. It's Peter, the Hello. Have A Word snake. Peter, Peter, why should people sign up to Patreon? Because we all want a new Bugatti. Yeah, okay, that's that's a good reason. But what do the what do the lids get if they sign up at, at, for as little as three pounds a month? Uh, they get a f- an extra episode once a week. Oh, the Wednesday patron exclusive, which is some of our favourite podcasting. What else do they get? The what? early release, Peter. They get early release, forty eight hours, unless Finn's fucked it. <laughs> <laughs> and then they also get. <laughs> <laughs> and then they also get the patron specials and which are... once I was in Paris right and I had to fly home and delete the early access because someone wasn't happy so maybe that happens again but you know doesn't always happen you've been doing some editing Peter <laughs> I've got no opposable thumbs Dan. I couldn't possibly edit just do it with your nose the specials are good as well, aren't they? I think this is the one, by the way. I think we should keep doing it. <laughs> I do as well. So the specials that have gone out, there's loads of lock-ins. There's the ghost Oh, ones. the lock-ins are legendary. We're the now restaurant about special. Five lock-in. The restaurant special, we've got uh, the rugby league special. We've got uh, the football special. We crashed a car. The specials are now monthly, and they are legendary. It is the best three pounds a month you will ever spend. We're you also already get like sp- discounts on merch and Never stuff and that. access to the entire back out. I was actually going to say I was going to kill myself, but no, it's fine. It's fine. Carry on. If you don't sign up, I'll end it. What? <laughs> no, yeah, whatever Adam was Patreon. saying. Patreon.com slash have a pod. No! Shut up, Pete, you stupid. No! Thanks, Lids. Enjoy the episode. Wag Wag Lids, you're listening to the funniest podcast in the game with Adam, Dan, Sensei Kal and Finn. This is the one and only Have A Word. Brought to you by Manscaped.com, the very best in below the belt men's grooming. Go Ed, get on me. I've started moisturising. You what? Me cock and me face. Not at the same time. Yeah, you what? Same so dollop. Can... Yeah. What? In what order? Uh, cock then face, actually. <laughs> Why are you moisturising your cock? Because apparently, like, it helps, and women are more likely to enjoy your cock if it's nice and uh, smooth. What are you moisturising it with? Uh, Hang on. What woman... I, go- I genuinely Google best moisturiser for your penis. What woman got, has, has got someone's cock out, touched <laughs> it, and then gone, oh, no, what way too dry? About? What do you mean, what am I on about? How are you moisturising your cock? What are you on about? You get moisturiser and you rub it all over your cock. Why? For a moist cock. No. It, this is like, a thing. He's playing forever. It is a thing. <laughs> moist keen. 10 best moisturiser for penis 2023. It's on msn.com. So, oh, yeah, so it's legit. Scroll. We're making a scroll. So I've got number four. The Sarah Sarah v. V. Say you will, say you <laughs> won't. <laughs> say you will moisturise your cock. Um, you. It's fantastic. Sarah V. My cock feels great. Uh, my face feels better. Said if he uses Cera V, but not for a cock. Yeah, it's great. I honestly can't use, recommend it enough. What does she use for a cock? Um, WD forty, I think. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, now get a service on that. Check the brakes. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's the start of me taking better care of myself for twenty twenty three. Yeah, that's how all health starts with a moisturised cock. <laughs> You're so glowing. F- You're glowing. To me cock. Hang on, is your is your cock soft now? Wow. Like. 
Is it, it is right now, yeah. No, but, I mean, you're not turning me on. No, but I mean, like, if the touch now is like, oh. It's smooth, yeah. You ever moisturise your face? I moisturise my face every night. <laughs> so you moisturise your face, so yeah. my cock feels like your face. <laughs> you don't know what my face feels like? I'm thankful. No, you I don't know what your cock feels like. <laughs> you know, feel your face now? That's oh, what my cock feels my like. Your T-zone is feeling good. Yeah. What about your T-zone? Your D-zone? Me D-zone. Do you shower gel on your uh, dig and bowels? I use a Dove nourishing Dove? cream body wash. Dove doesn't dry the skin like normal soap. No, I don't use a bar of Dove. I use oh, right, like yeah, a. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> using a bar of soap on your imperial car. leather. You're um, not wanking yourself off. You're a classy old lady. Yeah, I've got. I get the standard Dove, the non-scented Dove, because no one wants the dick smelling like pomegranate. <laughs> I think that might be too much for a lady. <laughs> wow, that is such a moist dick that I've just got out of your pants. Is that pomegranate? <laughs> no. Um, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> and I was very off, very rarely I say that. Never question it. Just roll um, with the moist dick. Yeah, it's just I want to start looking after myself better and my penis. You know, my penis is into its fourth decade now. And, uh, <laughs> you know. No, it's into its second decade of use. Of, uh, for for fucking, yeah. But yeah, I've but been pissing since I was a baby. <laughs> Fact. <laughs> and that roughens your dick up, of course. <laughs> Mama like that. Mama like Ooh, that. Oh, I pressed the wrong button at the wrong time then. <laughs> pissing since I was a baby. Mama Dan, like you should moisturize your cock. Do you know what Mama does do? Mama like that. What? You should, by the sounds of it, you need to moisturize your cock. It's I, a, it sounds like it could catch fire. I, I'm a dry cock man. <laughs> I know that now. And I've learned that today. And also, don't smell a pomegranate. And that's my bad. God, have you a word. You should use the top so one. Much. You should use number one. Yeah. Penis, penis growth, growth cream. cream. Enlarge your penis. <laughs> 12, 12 inches. 12 inches. Extra, extra, extra Who large. Who wants a fucking full subway in the fucking pussy? Oh, and nobody. Oh. <laughs> Last word, new. So that's nice, isn't it? Nobody. <laughs> nobody wants a full subway in their pussy. <laughs> 12 inches. Still, yeah, Obviously, that. you've got to add Wait, my two you're inches. You're being tricked by advertising <coughs> classics up to means no more than. <laughs> That's to actually still good advertising. Oh, please read the one-star <laughs> reviews. Go on the one-star one reviews. One-star reviews. The one-star reviews. My dick's still tiny. I know stuff like this doesn't actually work reading the back of the bottle. It says it's lube. So you're just buying some lube. Oh. <laughs> Did, John, no, John, that, that's John Barnett one. says, didn't work. Didn't work. <laughs> one star, one inch, my dick. Uh, keep going. My other half didn't. Work. Didn't. Crap. Rubbish. It's wast money. Please don't waste your <laughs> money, please. <laughs> oh, He's a wast money. He works in Dublin Airport. I've met that guy. Can you go to the five star reviews, please? Wast money. My yeah. dick is now massive, bro. All good. Really effective with zero inconvenience. It's a good product and it's worth the price. Oh, I love the bots. Great and works very well. Good. Ve very good. Oh. When, the fi when the fire brigade get my wife off my dick, she'll think it was great as well. She's um, stuck up there. Now, do us a favour, Finn. My favourite thing is going to be, go to the three-star reviews. <laughs> Why'd you like a three? Because, like, who is giving a three-star review to a dick enlargement? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> this this was neither good nor five yeah, yeah. This, yeah. this review's called Man's Best Friend. By Derek A. Jose. And it says, well, let's see. Now, that is not a review, is it? <laughs> That's a prelude. <laughs> Does work, but no, not anywhere near as advertised. My dick's bigger, but it's not big enough. <laughs> oh. Though it's too early to know the result and rate it, but it seems like I feel different when I use it. <laughs> that would be <laughs> to rate it. And hey, so rate it. hey, and I'll, uh, this is a little bit harsh. If you've reviewed something on Amazon and written something on Amazon as a review, kill yourself. <laughs> but they're yeah. also very useful, aren't they? What? They're, they are also useful. Yeah, but... What, what are you doing with well, your I life? I would never do it. Let someone read, else do that. Who's yeah, yeah. like, shit, I got this thing from Amazon and I need to tell people about it. Fuck off. Come on. Can we get you that cream? How much is it? Yeah, 100%. Could oh, you also get me some it. Just For Men for my stylish 2023 goatee? Oh, yeah, the, the public haven't seen this yet. It's what they want. Ah, the public has seen it now and going, wow, Dan looks suave. Oh, he looks... Mm. Smooth. Thank you, Alfie. I, I said it on the <laughs> podcast, on the Patreon podcast, and I'll say it again. You look like a fucking idiot, and I've lost respect for you. And that's all I'm going to say. Love you too, boo. Alfie is near, by the way, if you don't know the old listener. That's a new <laughs> soundboard noise. We've got a new one. One every eight months. Mmm, smooth. That gets my dick moist. 
I don't yeah. need moisturizer. I've got that sound drop. We haven't bought a dildo for ages, by the way. Just putting it out there. Yeah, we do need to buy a new dildo. I'm sorry, we got given one. Is that not enough? You have to spend money. Just accept the free double ended dildo we we've got. We've only got three dildos in the building. If now. you're new to have a word and you're like, is this what it is? It is. It is. Please don't write a review. We have that makes our, you our ratio stupid. of dildo to square foot has gone right through the fucking floor since yeah, Runcorn. And yeah. we need to <laughs> we, we need to match it up. Anyway, as I was saying. I'm starting to look after myself a bit more, and I feel like you need to do the same. Okay, cool. Well, I'm drinking water for the first time since 2005, <laughs> so I'm giving it a try. One for me, one for my dick. I haven't got moisturizer. I'll just keep it wet. Um, water's not a lubricant. It will dry your cock out. Yeah. <laughs> That's why having sex in a swimming pool is not fun. It's dangerous, isn't it? Yeah. People get stuck. Yeah. You get on fire, mate. And the fucking <laughs> lifeguard hates it. It's like kindling. <laughs> Well, lifeguard does hate it, unless you're fucking him. He likes it. That's why most lifeguards go into that line of work. Because they get, get fucked, fucked in a pool. Tell them yeah. got small shorts on. Easy access. Yeah. <laughs> Even from that very high stool. Yeah, they jump on your car. I want to bang you. Well, come up here. No, it's usually in the pool, isn't it? Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, I'm drowning. I'm drowning. Save me. I need, I need to be resuscitated via my dick. I've never understood why they like, like they sit so high. Because like then they've got to get down and to get into the pool. You do Surely understand. if they just sit on the edge of the pool, you do they'd be quicker that, to get into the pool, wouldn't it? No, you like, do why put a ladder in the way? Because that is just precious time that you're never getting back it's not, it's not if a, someone's drowning. Hang on, it's not a 15-foot ladder, is it? It's, it's <laughs> it two, probably is, but it's a 15-foot ladder. It, what? What swimming pool are you <laughs> going to? They sit basically on the fucking ceiling, don't they? Mate, D David Lloyd, it's just a three-step, like, little bit of vantage. That's what they're after. Yeah. Little bit no. of vantage. No. Is that an old person struggling You're or an old person drowning? You're thinking of, like, American Baywatch. films, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Why doesn't Lieutenant Sunpire just stand behind the players? 15-0. <laughs> I mean, love. With the fucking YMCA. You but look they do nothing have, like Pamela They do Anderson. have, like, umpires assistants behind the players. They literally stand behind them. No, going no, but the umpire stands high to have a vantage point. Yeah. Same as a yeah, because but, but, but no one's drowning on a tennis court, Cal. <laughs> Turns out He's never going to have to come down and save someone from swimming. So you them. want lifeguards and lifeguard assistants? Yeah. You want literally <laughs> at every corner. Hey, over there. Go on. <laughs> and then also like the equivalent of ball boys to be like, oh, fuck your goggles. There you go. But all the women have got long skirts on like at Wimbledon doing all this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're always like someone's mum, aren't they? Yeah. Like, <laughs> What? It's always people who can't possibly have the prime of their life eyesight. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's always some old cunt going out. Oh, like, why are we listening to fucking Roy? <laughs> <laughs> Who's saying that? Oi, the Ro umpire. Roy's a line judge at Wimbledon. I bet he's a fucking bore at every dinner party. And Roy's going to talk about Wimbledon. I remember that again. time John McEnroe. He said it was in. It was well out. <laughs> it was well out. It was. I remember chatting to Novak. That's what I call him. A personal friend. I like to leave it in. There's you know. definitely no friendship between those cunts and the ten tennis players. They hate them. What about the little boys who give the towel? Hey, go, sir. Would you like a banana? Have you both been watching Oliver Twist? <laughs> Please, sir. I only watch Victorian Wimbledon. <laughs> Ah, that's a Victorian woman. Here's a question. <laughs> no, I'm already excited. With today's, if you had six weeks of training, right, and the top... You, do you naturally work on a school summer holiday basis? <laughs> yeah. That's when I get time off still. Right. 31. Not a single point. Listen Go to on. me. Six weeks of training with the best tennis coach in the world. Can I get extra time to moisturize my dick? Yeah. yeah. All right, cool, right? cool, cool. Seven weeks. And you've got like today's tennis racket and today's like trainees and today's like what they wear. How far back in history- <laughs> Today's, okay, cool. How far back in history do you reckon you'd have to go to beat someone who was in like the top 100? Um, oh, Tudor not England. Not that far. Not that far. What are you talking about? You've seen the wooden rackets. They barely could yeah, get like, it over uh, there now. Uh, like, they look like fucking that's shit like the, robots. That's like the uh, uh, you uh, think Dan could beat, like... Um, what's I reckon I could beat McEnroe. Perry. You think Dan I could beat McEnroe. Be yeah, with a few <laughs> weeks training. McEnroe would bum your moisturised dickhead off. No, he's got the tennis racket and the fucking clothes and the trainees he had in the 70s. Oh, let's have a look he at John McEnroe. He would do rugby. you in. You wouldn't so badly. You wouldn't get. You wouldn't have more than a three-shot rally. He's one of the best to ever yeah, play the I'd game. Beat him, I'd probably <laughs> ace him every serve. So this is what this is what McEnroe was was, so was what? rocking. Lad, that's not even a fucking badminton racket by today's standards. It's shite. I'd fucking smash him everywhere. How you know? big's your racket? Is it like forty foot? There's wide? my Dunlop on there. Check him on. That one. I'd smoke him. He's, I mean, racket's bigger. I can hit more balls. 
Yeah, it's that's what one. it is. That's what it is. With McEnroe, he was just missing balls. He was like, damn. God. I don't reckon you could go back in any period and beat her. <laughs> you fucking add smoke here. She's got no chance. She looks like she's missing that one. I beat Marty. Is it Martina Sellers? Martina Nav- Navratilova. No, Sellers. I beat her. Monica well, she Sellers. Sad, she Monica. got some sad news this week in Navratilova, didn't she? She got some bad cancer. She got not two cancers. Not that there's loads oh, of great shit. cancer. That was, I didn't mean that. Sellers got stabbed. She got neck and tick cancer. Monica Sellers is the one that was like she very got, grunty. She got stabbed. She got stabbed. Yeah, Monica Sellers got stabbed in the back. By you, his sister. Shag the husband. Sounds like a tongue twister. <laughs> <laughs> Monica Sellers got stabbed in the back. I think it was Sellers anyway. Uh, a lady tenant, yeah. Are you thinking about ice skating? Yeah, on court. Ah, fucking suck. No, you're off. not thinking about ice skating. You're just doing it. Right, okay, cool. Oh, she did get... Oh, that's not oh, nice. Oh, Lord. I beat her. <laughs> yeah. I, reckon, I reckon the 1960s. <laughs> I'd reckon. have a go at... Uh, oh! No, I reckon I'd play pretty well after, with Monica Sellers just after she'd been stabbed. Then I got a chance. I don't reckon equipment. you would beat Asafa Powell in a race if you had Timberland boots on. <laughs> Yeah, but Ad, but this <laughs> is just Adam. Said, no, it? but it's the same. But just it? Adam thinks he could play Novak Djokovic like, today. today. Today's like, today he's like all Burnley right. would absolutely maul the 1999 Man United team. Yeah, yeah. No, totally. no, no, they would. No, no, yeah, they but, fucking yeah, wouldn't, guys. You've not gone <laughs> far enough back there. 1999 Man United. No, uh, would today, hump. Today's Tottenham would beat United. Maybe not Burnley. All right, yeah, right. But that's, that's maybe. But it's it? still a maybe. You're talking about one of the best teams that this country's ever produced in their time. Yeah, no, historically, they'd get relegated in the Premier League this season. <laughs> oh, what a bag of Everton, shite! Everton twice, relegate Everton twice, take two places up, and then United. Who do you think? Do you think? Do you, oh, sorry. It's the <laughs> Wimbledon finals, <laughs> and Dan Nightingale's got his ringside ticket. <laughs> Court side. In my yeah. head, that's what your inner monologue sounds like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we could 100% win this. No, look at that look point. At look at the state at this of it. Look at this. You wouldn't be able to run to get that. What? Look at that. Six what, weeks. Was that? what was that? What was that? Carl, I'm sorry. If For those who are listening or watching, <laughs> anyone, <laughs> <laughs> type in Wimbledon Finals 1960 and watch these soft cunts try and play tennis. I'd make them look like fucking idiots, mate. I'm not normally with Adam on these, this sort of thing. I'm fully behind Finn, this. you wouldn't beat Adam? Yes, I would. I'm good at tennis. I'm not very good at table tennis. Okay, Adam, you wouldn't be Finn? Yeah. Why are you beating Tom Jerry? What his name is? Fred Perry. Tom and Jerry. <laughs> Lads, I need to see you play tennis. <laughs> and I need Finn. T- I've never tennis heard Finn be confident about anything. I was confident anything. before the footy and I proved myself. Oh, Finn's great at football. Yeah, even and tennis, it, yeah, yeah. tennis was tennis was my second sport. I'm probably the greatest table tennis player in my generation. <laughs> so what, what, just transfers, it's just a bigger table, isn't it? It is right. cool. Tennis game, it's on, and you're wearing the kit. Okay, right. <laughs> and you can be the umpire. I'm put, I was actually really good at tennis in um, school. Does anyone want to take bets? I'm putting five hundred pounds on Finn to win. To beat me? Will anyone take me? Finn to, to beat me? It. Yeah, five hundred pounds. Fitness and tennis is ninety nine percent of it. Come on, bro. Five hundred quid for me to be Finn. Are you if only you, good at tennis? Yeah, he is. I can tell he is. Oh, yeah. I'm all right. Yeah. He'd smoke you. 500. I've played for a while, but I reckon. You don't Shut forget. Come and make a you haven't even beat the kid in the wheelchair to table tennis shit. You used to make him more bets. I will beat him, though. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that it, you've all seen me play table tennis now. He's got no chance. He's an Olympian. Right, He's cool. a dickhead. He's a Commonwealth <laughs> Games winner, isn't like he? Jack, you're not a dickhead, a... by the way. <laughs> Jack Hunter Spivvy is a gold <laughs> medalist. <laughs> Table, table tennis player. Yeah. He will smoke you. He won't. He won't get a point right. unless I miss the table. Right, cool. Well, let's set that up. £500, I bet that Finn beats you. Come on. Um, Take the bets right there. Go the vagabonds later. Take it there. Come on. I, 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 don't, I haven't got 500 quid worth of confidence to be Finn. I beat you. <laughs> 500 quid, that I beat you. £500, it's on. I feel like that. now Dan's a proper Tory. He probably plays it every Saturday morning with Judith. Never call me... <laughs> Never. Judith Keppel. Judith, Judith, Judith Keppel is Dan's tennis partner. <laughs> I've got something to, to, to train for now. I'm uh, going to start tennis lessons. I don't David Lloyd, do tennis lessons? I'll give you tennis lessons if you want. I'll still beat you. <laughs> you give him Look lessons. Look at me, <laughs> I'm not a Tory, yeah. but I will do lessons at David will Lloyd. You, will you <laughs> enter a, a doubles competition? Together? Uh, yeah. Oh, fucking. No. When would he let me ever fucking hit the ball? <laughs> what? 
What? <laughs> what? It's like a NordVPN advert. What? <laughs> right, cool. It's on. It's on. When are we playing? In New York City. When are we playing? Tomorrow. March. <laughs> Tomorrow. March. Oh, no, hang on. Feb well, yeah, let's make it work. Six weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll need to sell some tickets. Obviously. Let me get me special out the way. So six, end of Feb. Hang on, Dan, are you going to go, they really do do tennis lessons, they? They do do. They do 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 What other sport do you think you could go back and win at? Pinball? Anything. By t with today's coaching. So you think you could go back But and he beat. thinks he, like, so I get the point of today's... Teams, like, absolutely. No, 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 no. I get the point of today's athlete that's like 30th in the world would maybe... But I love it how it's you in your head. No, <laughs> yeah, I could. Yeah, because I've got a better racket from Decathlon. I don't smoke. John Mahomes was having fucking bifters at half time in the tennis and everything. Right. Half time. In the tennis. <laughs> half, time. half time. Get the bifters out, lad. <laughs> fucking hell. McEnroe smoking ringside in the interval. Did he? Haman used to smoke at half time. He did. Yeah. Tit. So the Wojciech Chesney. It's just bollocks, isn't it? Well like they, they couldn't fucking compete with me after six weeks training, mate. But you don't think he could compete with Wojciech Chesney in golf? You no, he's he's com he's like modern, isn't he? So that's different. Do you reckon he could go back and beat like a <laughs> runner from the forties? Because the '99 Champions League winning um, United team is what, the oldest. What was the days. world record for a hundred meters oh, in 1940? Shut the do you reckon you could beat up. Roger Bannister, the first man to do a four-minute mile? No, because I can't do a four-minute mile. Because he can't do a four-minute mile now. <laughs> exactly. So they, yeah, but six weeks. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> might be able to do a mile six in six to weeks. Do a mile. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you that. Stop and go home. So the first ever recorded one was 10.8 seconds in 1891. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's one second. How slower. good are these fucking trainees, lads? <laughs> nah, they're in fucking... Yeah, but who um, was fucking measuring that? There's corruption back then, wasn't it? There? there was loads of corruption. But it was, it was a guy Cecil called Luther Levy. Carey. Luther from, Carey. Never even heard of him. America. If he was so famous. So good. Fucking I reckon that's been buried. Richard Rao was, was flying in the fucking... The Germans, mate. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, oh, in yeah. 1934, pre-Second World War, they got down to 10.3 seconds. Yeah, but fucking clocks were shit back then. <laughs> they broke, Everything took ages. They broke 10 seconds in 1968. <laughs> How long do you reckon you could do 100 metres in right now? 11. <laughs> oh, <laughs> minutes. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. No, how long do you reckon it is? I reckon it'd take you 25 seconds. No. That's exaggerating. No. Be, be sub 20. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's now he's got moisturised balls. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, they're slidey. He just sits on his balls. I haven't shaved my balls for a while. Actually, I'm going to do that later. Hairy, mm. moisturised balls. Look, you're not beating any athletes in terms of track and field. No, you're not. No, I don't think I would. That's not what I've said. That's okay, not a sport. Okay, then what sport? I mean, they're all sports. Any sport. That's not a sport. Running isn't a sport. It's an event. Okay, then. What about golf? So the Olympics. Golf? Yeah. Easy. They weren't using, like, grenades back then. It was still a golf ball. They were shite. With the sticks they've got back then. Rod Laver. They basically stop. just fucking took a twig off a tree and was like, right, let's have a go. They were shit. Yeah, they were shit. <laughs> 10.3 seconds running 100 metres in 1936. They're fucking idiots. They took a break. <laughs> they had a bifter. <laughs> they had fucking 11s. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that I could do anything in an Olympic game. Okay, then. So... A sport um, where Google, it's... Google single person sport. Let's have a look at list and let's see what you think you could do. Because obviously team sports. Yeah. He's right. 30, 40 years worth of technology. Golf. Will... Skateboarding. <laughs> surfing. <laughs> Skate... We're basically using fucking planks. Can we, just, can we also admit the 99 Man United winning, the treble winning team was not the dark ages? No, but they wouldn't finish top four now. They wouldn't finish top half. Right, it's, diff it's different. <laughs> oh. They wouldn't? Uh, Give yeah. me a fucking Ollie, break. Wouldn't Teddy Sheringham was having cigars at half time? Give me a fucking break with that midfield. What midfield? But Paul Scholes, one of the overrated, most overrated players of all Paul time. Paul Scholes, Roy T, Ryan Gates, David Beckham. He's a Beckett. train train and one. Shut the fuck up. I Come saw on. Paul Scholes kick a ball against but a train But then you've got, you've got to modernise their, their like, sports Couldn't tackle. It just ends up couldn't tackle. Oh, oh he's got the folly against Villa once. Shite. Seen his eyes with his cock as well. football's so annoying. Because you have knobheads like that. Paul Scholes, fucking shite. It's like objectively Michael not true, is it? Than Paul so, but, but, but this is why football is so irritating. Because people who know better go, yeah, it's fucking shite. This is not, just literally not true. Paul Scholes isn't in the top 50 midfielders of all time. Ah, so this is why football and this podcast doesn't work. Because even I'm not even a Man United fan <laughs> and I just find you irritating. 
It's just irritating. It's a fucking great They midfielder. would get relegation, though. <laughs> <laughs> and then they wouldn't have to play Burnley because Burnley are going up. Yeah, what, did they play Everton? No. All right, then. Swimming. No. Uh, it's not a sport. Dancing. <laughs> These aren't sports. Well, Swimming is a sport. No, it's not. It's an event. It's like running. What? Swimming is a sport. You have... It, you, it's a sport. It's, yeah. it's time. It's a you... mode of transport. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Not winning this It's one. like running, isn't it? It's not... If running's not a, a sport, sporting, then neither swimming. It's a sporting endeavour. So is that. You, but that's also... what? Hang on, what's your definition of a... <laughs> a game? Like something you have to... A skill you have to learn that involves other stuff. It's not athletics just... is a sport, though. Will you concede that athletics is a sport? I don't think it technically is. I think it technically is a sport. In so event. is running a sport then? It's yeah. a sport, yeah. It depends if you're running a, a certain race. length and Racing you're getting Racing is definitely time. a sport. Okay. Formula One's a sport. Yeah. Because there's a car involved. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's a mode of transport. What? Yeah, but like, there's a car involved. You've got to learn something else. You, it's outside just you being fit. Boxing is a sport. Okay. Do you reckon you could go back and beat, like, I don't know? <laughs> Someone in my weight class from back then. Yeah. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish I had a time machine back now. Back when, 40s? Easy. Like, like, let's see Probably the... the 80s. What? How much do you weigh? No, Mike not. Tyson. <laughs> Rocky, Marciano. <laughs> Rocky Marciano was doing pretty good in the 1940s, I think. Undefeated. Yeah. And he'd be a fucking idiot now. He wouldn't get out of the fucking first round. How much you? Time. How much you clocking in at? You are a heavyweight. I've got six weeks. Right. So I'll be what? Now nah, he's a cruiser. They say you're a cruiser. Say I'm thirteen <laughs> stone. He's a cruiser. Yeah, but I could say I'm nine. Say I'm thirteen stone. <laughs> yeah. I'm fifteen stone right now. I could easily get down to thirteen in six weeks. Yeah, I'd want to get down to thirteen stones if I had to fight Rocky Marciano. Cruiserweight boxing. Cruiserweight boxing. I don't even think it was a weight division in 1940, was it? Um, well, then I definitely won. <laughs> 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 um, right, you've got... Oh, what, maybe what it was, this, yeah. Maybe it was. Guy, yeah. Freddie Cochran, he sounds odd. Freddie Red Cochran. Sounds like a tit. <laughs> That's what he'd say in the uh, presser. <laughs> I don't think also. there's any sport any of us could go back to in any era and beat any champion. Any ever. cunt in black and white can get it. I'll Muhammad, stand by that. Muhammad Ali. Do what? You know? Muhammad Ali. No, because he fought in colour as well. When you time travel back to fight <laughs> cruiserweights in 1940, mm. do you still have asthma? <laughs> no, we've had six weeks to get rid of it. Yeah. Because modern medicine's not fixed that. No, it hasn't. Yeah. With six weeks training, anyone can beat asthma. <laughs> I, the modern sport is so advanced compared to back then. You don't do modern sport. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> That's why I need the six weeks. Are you insane? With the greatest training on the planet. That's part of my argument. You've got to remember that. I'm not just saying I can have six weeks of going to the fucking gym. I'm saying the best boxing coach on the planet right now trains me for six weeks. I will smoke anyone Sugar. from the 40s. <laughs> <laughs> Do you you're reckon a, if you had Roger Federer in your corner, you'd beat... Silly lady. You'd beat the, the ladies' champion of the 60s. I reckon I'd be the ladies' champion today. Like okay. later this afternoon. Do you reckon you'd beat Serena Williams in a tennis no. match? No. Should we stop asking him questions? Because he just goes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you think Dan's you could be... because he's a Paul Scholes do think, super fan. Do, do you think you could... Just, <laughs> love Scholes. He was fucking class. Paul Scholes. <laughs> he's got Paul Scholes. Could you be an astronaut? <laughs> yeah, in six weeks, if I went to NASA. You know, and obviously by then I'm 11 stone because gravity is different in space. <laughs> Bit of Ventolin. <laughs> Off I go. Yeah, of course I could. Land on the moon, dick first. Get that <laughs> fucking moisturised. My God, we've never seen anything like it. You're well. Welcome, fucking aliens. Ridiculous. <laughs> Silly person. I want you to get twatted by a person that's dead now. I want to go back to the 1940s and see you get no, punched in the head. Though, didn't he? Hey. <laughs> hey. Oh, yeah. What's with this? <laughs> Why I are Why I are Bow, 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 bow. Hey, bow, bow. They if him Adam has a guard, he wins. <laughs> 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Just that rope it over them all. That was the Cruiserweight champion. The fucking... If there is a boxing historian who supports United, fucking hell, they've hated this episode. So <laughs> <laughs> they sat there with the dry dick going... <laughs> 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 yeah, 
Yeah, if they're fucking shite, their, their diet wasn't what today's can be. Do you know what I mean? They're all eating fucking tripe, weren't they? In 1999? <laughs> no. Oh, I can't tell you No, yeah. I'm not saying I could get in the United team in 1999. What football, how far back football to get in the Liverpool team? The 20s. No. I don't know. I think you could do the 50s. Yeah, probably. They were all awful. Like, team sports are different, though, because you're getting carried. There was definitely some... Liverpool weren't good in the 50s, were they? Exactly. Have you watched Brazil play Italy in, like, the 1970s? It's that It's that team that's lauded as the best what, when, team. When they literally passed the ball around, like, they were taking, like, the Harlem Globetrotters. It yeah. was incredible. Yeah, but it, have, you, have you watched Italy in that same video? Don't watch Brazil. Watch Italy. Me, you, Stig and Finn would have beat that Italy team with no one else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even joking. They're literally just going, oh, as you passed it over there. Oh, now it's back over there. Like, it's ridiculous. There's no pressing at all. We would smoke Italy. What was we the, can't press. What was the World Cup that uh, where Holland invented pressing? There's a, is it 1974? Where they basically, for the first time ever, they oh, went, they just listen, spin. if someone gets the ball, just everyone run at them. 1974. It's unbelievable. Like watching players go, you're not allowed to do this. It's fucking amazing. Type in Brazil versus Italy. Um, 1970. 1970. Right. And watch this video. This is like Zico. And Make sure the audio's off so we don't no, get copyrighted. Was, wasn't so it was, this earlier than Zico? Um, what is it? Is it the goal? That one. Yeah. It does any of it. Carlos Alberto. Right. Yeah. Watch this. Yeah. Should look at it. Right. Look at the state of it. Yeah, but they're all really good on the ball, though. You wouldn't tackle that man. He's just not make the professional Brazil player. Right, and now Brazil have got the ball. Watch Italy. What? Don't watch Brazil. Watch Italy. Yeah, but wasn't Watch this... Italy. Wasn't this in Mexico in the middle of the summer? Yeah, he's heavy. No, that, that's fucking... That um... was quite good. Oh, Socrates. Dr. Socrates. Yeah. The doctor. The smoking doctor. Uh, for the audio listeners, we're still right. watching the, Brazil. Yeah. The, and Cuts Italy inside. aren't really pressing. Pele gets the ball. Fraud. Lays it off. <laughs> Someone twats it. Smack. Where, you think we're defending that? Well, I was any shit over now. <laughs> Socrates passed the penalty. I didn't say we beat Brazil. I said we beat that Italy team. We, as a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and all we need is six weeks. We need to have some six weeks merch. It's Just give me six weeks. It's genuinely, there's nothing. There's nothing he can't achieve. He could grow a vagina in six weeks and he's like, I could be one of the best women going. Just get a doctor to fucking slap one on you. It's easy these days, isn't it? Anyone can do it. <laughs> Walk into your doctors. I want a pussy. Okay. The fucking everywhere. We've got four o'clock this afternoon if you want, Mr. Rowe. Mrs. Rowe. Private. We Whatever can do you, you at 4 p.m. But the NHS is on its ass. New vagina. Waiting list till November. <laughs> it must be went Mrs. Rowe straight to <laughs> If you want, Mrs. Rowe. Very progressive. <laughs> of course, madam. <laughs> well... I'll see you at the tennis court. Oh, you're getting absolutely bummed. Let's set, <laughs> let's set a fucking date. Okay. Where? June. Friend, I want to practice June with you. Second. Let's get, that. let's get it together. Yeah. Cool. June. Se how long do we get? How long? Genuinely, when do you want to? When do you want the match? Whenever you we'll want. Look whenever you feel comfortable. Any time. Hey Siri. Any day. <laughs> turn up nine a.m. on a Tuesday morning. What date is it? Six weeks from today. Thursday the 16th. Mm, yes. I'll be in Marrakesh. Oh, of course you will. <laughs> <laughs> of course you fucking will. See you there, mate. Sound? 500? Yeah. English yeah. pounds. Enjoying it. Three sets, two sets, one set. Five what do you sets. want? One set. Five sets. Should we, get a pro Should we get a proper umpire and all? I'll be 40 foot in the air. Get what? a lifeguard. One set, <laughs> first to six. Yeah, well, that's, yeah. One, one set. set. Okay. I think it should All be... All right, because you start strong. You Why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> I fade. Third set. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know that about me, Dan. I always win the first set. Second and third, tricky. I think, I five think first sets. to two sets would be better. You've but... got ADHD. You'll wander off mid-fucking set. Well, then that'd be good for you, wouldn't it? Yeah. DQ, 500 pounds. Best of three sets, it should be. Yeah, like a ladies' game. Yeah. <laughs> for sure, bitch. <laughs> that was a great... Yeah. You're mm. playing the ladies' game as well. Oh, you can make it a grand and play five sets. Yeah. Turn play, up with play your first new, three sets if you want. Turn up with your new pussy. Play first three sets. Play first to three sets if you want. 
I'll play whatever you want, mate. A five sec classic at the Vagabonds. <laughs> <laughs> at the Nalgo. We're going on grass. What, in February? Yeah. No. You're always on grass, you old pothead. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> See you there. <laughs> mm. Me, you, the Nalgo. 16th February, or whenever Carl's back from my I'm going to wear a skirt. Try and turn you on, because we all know you love that tennis oh, outfit. You're the big ugly cunt of a man that won't turn me on. <laughs> Trash talk starts now, you little pussy ass bitch. Enjoy your ass. You have a, enjoy um, your asthma attack. Can you please have a face off. No, stand up and have a face off. Well, it's we'll, Matthew's got a we'll moving camera. Just get scared. You are even stood up. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> One nil round. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> You're not going to be expecting me fucking backhand uppercuts as well. She talked me through a backhand uppercut. <laughs> You'll see. In Are you just going to jump me? over a fucking... <laughs> Are you going to punch me? Fuck off. Well, you never know, do you? Who's the umpire? What? If you're a tennis umpire... No. <laughs> and, you, and you comment on Amazon. I know the rules. You're not a... T no way. Why? You're not... You're not a tennis player? You what? I am if I'm playing for You can be my bag man. I don't want to be your bag man. You can be my bag man. No, Get I'll, a number. I'll be the umpire. Thank you. 40 love. Juice. Advantage row. Game uh, set and match. <laughs> <laughs> Who could it be? What are the odds? I'm going one to two, Adam. Three to one, Dan. <laughs> He's just called you a fucking dickhead. I never. <laughs> I'm into it. Say I'm ringing David all. Lloyd shortly. Who's he? The Elton, yeah. You're <laughs> We're having a break. <laughs> Hi, guys. Time to talk about my absolute favourite sponsor now. <laughs> it's Manscaped.com. Santa, baby. It must be a holiday miracle because the sponsors of today's show, Manscaped, are providing the tools your man needs to stuff all your stockings, if you know what I mean. Mama like that. Cock and pussy. That's right. This holiday season, Manscaped has vowed to make sure your man's tree is standing tall with two presents underneath. I think they mean his balls. Anyway, trust me, ladies, Santa's cookies aren't the only thing you're going to want to get your hands on. <laughs> You'll also want to touch his cock. Have him join the 7 million other sexy lumberjacks who use Manscaped and get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com with the code WORD20. Oh, baby, it's cold outside, and you'll feel the cold even more when your balls have got no hair on them. It's a really good Christmas present if you're looking to buy someone a nice gift set, think outside the box and get them a box of... Manscaped. I tell you who who would <laughs> really like to have no pubes. It's Peter. To hey, have work. I've got no pubes, of course. Hey, I am How are you, you doing there, lad? Tickling Pete, under there. Peter, What's happening? You're so smooth. Do you shave your balls with Manscaped? No, your wife does. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Tell you what, Peter's snappy. Manscaped's best selling product is the performance. Package 4.0, which is at the top of every man's wish list this year. You get the lawnmower body trimmer, the, dare I say, best trimmer on the market for balls, back, chest, and the list goes on. There's the weed whacker, which is the ear and nose trimmer, and let's not forget their famous liquid formulations, the crop preserver, the ball deodorants, the ball reviver, ball toner, ball toner, to keep them smelling nice down there. Peter, what do you Because when think? you're sucking a penis, lovely. you really want it to be floral. So go to manscaped.com <laughs> and use the code WORD20 for 20% off and worldwide shipping. Peter, have you actually got bollocks? Yes, I've got two bollocks on my chin. Nice. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh. You okay? Yeah. Post pot noodle. I've had a pot noodle for me lunch. Like a, like a king. Cheeky pot noodle. Ooh. Never had one in my life. Never had a pot noodle. Why? Why? And you'd love them as well. Because it's me yeah. in it. You would like you. Like, Taught me through the flavors of pot noodles, and I'll tell you which it's one. It's all I, synthetic. Do you like chicken? I don't mind synthetic. Yeah. Do you, they're actually vegetarian? Even though it's chicken. I don't mushroom. like chicken. I love it. You're welcome. Which ones? Taught me through. Chicken and mushroom. Bad Bombay bad boy. 
I'm already out with the mushrooms, thank you. No, he hasn't. No, try one, please. But what it doesn't the, taste like mushrooms. What, it's done my head. In. Well, what's the point? Why don't they just call it chicken and pineapple then if it doesn't taste because like mushrooms? Because it hasn't got pineapple in it. Well, it hasn't got mushrooms in it. It, it has, has got mushrooms in it, just oh. doesn't taste like it has. Synthetic mushrooms. I think it has got the, isn't the dried bits mushrooms? Yeah, yeah. yeah. There is mushrooms in it, but you just can't Stop taste it. No, you really? can't taste I don't like. Incredible. I don't like mushrooms. They're not incredible. Like Let's calm down. <laughs> <laughs> no, they are. <laughs> They're a passable snack that takes four minutes to... If, put you're if you're hungry, it's a fucking belter. I like, like the idea of food that I have to prepare and pour water. Four minutes is about my pre preparation time that I'm willing to do. Do you leave it? Do you leave them or do you like them crunchy, the noodles? No, I leave them, yeah. I, I, I'm crunchy. weirdly strict when it comes yeah. to cooking times and regulations with food. How do you have a pot noodle crunchy? You, you know, if you just pour the water in and you just eat it straight away. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> People do that. Yeah. yeah. Some people are just like, oh, fuck it, let's go for it. Some people have, them have it al dente. Some people you have no shy. Tr truly, no, no water. Just take that powder. Not, not immediately. You I leave them for like a minute. Sex offender. They're banging, mate. Oh Don't my god. Don't knock it till you tried it. No, I will. You're nope. eating dry noodles. You'd have to add. I've um, and? I I'm really getting into me cooking at the minute. I've got back into it. Yeah. I'm really enjoying cooking. Pot noodles. No. That was just a snack for now because we haven't got it. We haven't got an oven or anything here. I'd oh. love to have a. I want proper. I'd love to have a proper kitchen in here where I could prepare meals for us. Pot. I'd love it. I'd like re proper recommendations. Just put peg in it because we've got. We it will, here. You can have one in a minute. Gordon Ramsay's aspirational Gordon Ramsay. fucking son. Oh. What well, you've been cooking, Adam, with your moisturised dick? Um, Not with your moisturised dick. Made a fantastic bolognese last week. Lovely. Mm -hmm. More than four minutes. Yeah. Six oh, I'm hours out. Hours of bolognese. I'm out. Hours. Christ. That's why I don't cook. The longer you leave a bolognese on, the better it is. A crunchy bolognese. <laughs> you can you can make the pasta al dente if you want. Wow. That is how that is how they do it in Italy. They they <laughs> have it. <laughs> <laughs> they they like it crunchy over there a little bit. I All like mine them. softer, so yeah, I leave yeah. mine a little bit longer because I'm a big believer in the fact that the English are the, we're the worst at creating cuisines in the world, but we're the best at perfecting them. We God. take everyone else's cuisines yeah. and improve them. Right. What is our cuisine? Basically, Sunday roast. Bangs and yeah. mash. Roast beef. Bangs and mash. Totally shit old. like that. Yeah. But like Chinese food in China is absolute dog shit. It's, yeah. it's it, bollocks. He's been. It's, <laughs> it is actually dog shit and bollocks. You can buy both of them. It's dog bollocks. He went over for six weeks. <laughs> That's what shoe mice are over there. They're dog bollocks. In China, they've come up with a good cuisine. They've brought it over here and we've gone, right. Let's get a bit of fucking five spice on that, a bit of salt and pepper, and also add some chips. Yeah. And the Chinese have gone, oh my God, this is now a viable economy. And then do a Scouse version of the shumai that's never been seen in China. Exactly. We've improved it. We yeah. couldn't have possibly come up with that on our own. We've took inspiration from China's original menu, and we've gone, fuck that. Here's that. Some lad in Toki. Got you there, Mr. Lin. Think you're doing it wrong. I like prawns, but I like toast. Jam them in. Fucking prawn toast meat. Fucking banging. Unbelievable. I never used to like prawn toast and I've had an epiphany. Prawn toast is heavy. It's unbelievable. It's the only fish the I've English. ever eaten. Only fish I've ever eaten because I got pissed 20 years ago visiting my mate who was at Liverpool Uni and the Chinese right at the end uh, near the fucking hoo-ha. You know, right at the end of the Bold Street. Yeah. Up there. Big up near the bombed out church. Yeah. Big Bowl. Just round. I don't know if it was Big Bowl 20 years ago. We got hammered, went for Chinese. I was like, I don't really eat it. They were like, try that toast. I was like, what is it? They were like, yeah, it's toast. Finished a whole round. And they were like, cool, there's prawns in that. I was like, oh, I really like prawns. And yeah. they were like, yeah, but you like that, don't you? I was like, yeah. Which sums <laughs> up the stupidity of being a fussy eater. Yeah. Prawn toast is fine. It's but I had to be tricked fantastic. as an adult to eat but If it. you go to China and ask for prawn toast, they'll laugh you out the building, sir. <laughs> but you can get it over here. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> it's more respectful when he's talking about cuisine, isn't he? When we're doing tennis challenges, <laughs> you fucking prick. <laughs> oh, food. Well, sir. Let me see. Yeah. We we perfect cuisines. Do you know what I mean? We. Yeah. All of us lot. Scousers and the English. <laughs> Sc Scousers. There you go. There you like go. pasta over there. They're like, we do it al dente. It's like, well, you've, you've undercooked your pasta. You're soft to Make it soft. It's, it's nice. I don't want a fucking floppy pizza. I want it to be hard. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Do you want to scratch me ass with me pizza slice? Do you throw your spaghetti against the wall? No, I just I just get a bit out, eat it and go, I like that texture, and then I stop cooking it. He gets some on the wall. It's not, you know. <laughs>
Don't come for me for me cooking skills, mate. I make you look like a fucking silly little girl. <laughs> One five hundred pound bet. Have a cook off. Like Ishan <laughs> took me for authentic South Asian food. I don't want to say Indian because it's not all Indian. Do you know what I mean? He's not from Indian descent. He's from Bangladeshi descent. And he was like, get the traditional thing, and I got it. Dog shit. He got a chicken madras, and I was jealous of him. And apparently that is a British twist, or it's what what he says is. The immigrants who came over from South Asia came over here and was like, right, we will make this palatable for the British. So we'll invent a chicken madras, which is a spicy one. And they've done that to sort of appease us. But the fact because yeah, they're selling it in the UK, yeah. make it popular. The chicken tikka masala is from yeah, you can't Birmingham, get that, You can't get that in Mumbai, apparently. Right. You can get it over here because we have perfected it. So you think... This is what you're saying. It's perfected, not just for us, but it's better. It is better. So if you talk in a little bit of Tupperware, chicken tikka masala to Bombay. Yeah. Oh, is it mate. called Bombay anymore? Is it? Anyway, you took it over yeah. to India. I've, I've got, I've, what have I got in my head for yeah. Goa, yeah. Delhi, yeah. Rajasthan? And they'd go, what a lad. That's fucking banging. I don't, think, um, I don't think they would, but it's only because Indians are a very stubborn people. Good. You are so worldly today. So worldly. And they're, that, like, they'll be in it going, oh my God, this is unbelievable. Nah, shite this. Have one of our normal ones. And then they'd fucking turn around and go, just laugh you off the building first. Don't tell them. And if you're wondering, <laughs> that is a Rajasthan accent we're doing. Don't tell you, them. You're hearing Scouse, but lad, from fucking Rajo. <laughs> Up the Raj. Italy, like they've done all right. Can't, can't take that away. Pizzas, Americans have made that better. Mm, you say. Yeah, French, chips. We made them better. French for us. What do you mean? Made, made no chippy chips well yeah. better. Chippy chips are better than French fries. Fuck. Mm -hmm. They didn't invent chopping up potato and deep frying it. Oh, they just have they their version. Because the version of chips that they do is French fries. Oh, so it? they fucked it then. And I think that's American anyway, isn't it? Well, they fucked it again. Um, Good also, point, adding though. chips to cuisines. We did that. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Getting chips in an Indian. Fucking sound. Makes it so much better. And if you go with someone who's from that culture, they're like, you can't get chips with a curry. You can. It makes it better. Makes it, Chips make anything better. Pizza makes it better. You can't get that in Italy. If you're, a, if you're a curry uh, purist, you don't have chips with you. Yeah. Your curry. And, and you more fool you. Yeah, you're missing out there. Chips oh, it's not off. traditional. I'm not asked. It's but that, better. Right, okay. Chips well, make everything better. Pizza, curry. Well, why don't you just have a pizza with your curry? What Would that Ooh, make it better? Chinese or is that just might, might be is right. it too busy? I think that would be too busy. They don't really go for me. It's not accompanying, but I would, I would, you know, if I was at a buffet and there was a bit of curry and a pizza oh. and a christening, I would get both, yeah. So. Well, it sounds like a good, there's definitely shoe miser that, fuck yeah. me, that's a dish, isn't it? Chicken tea and masala. If you go to a scouse chips, christening, there's always a curry. There's always a curry and there's always pizzas. Little white bowl, got your curry in it, wallop. What about little sausage dogs? Yeah, they're there as well. There's loads of dash hands there. <laughs> <laughs> We've talked about your dog so much that in my head I'm like, yeah, little sausage dogs, little hot dog. No, you have the two vats of hot food, usually a curry and a maybe a pasta. Do you celebrate christenings in Preston? <laughs> we we have done a few, yeah. Yeah. You see a lot of Lancashire hot pot at a fucking the same sort of do. What is that? I don't know. A stew? Is it a stew? It's, it's like a it's like a stew with the fucking pies lid on it. Oh. <laughs> Sounds great. Well, it makes honestly when you Pilot. say christening, I can smell all those fucking hot pots. And sorry if you're from Lancashire, you're like, but they're bloody lovely. Christening's in the pool are like fucking yeah, it's like the Champions you know? League finals. Yeah. It's, everyone's excited for it for months. Christenings in Liverpool sound like being on a food court where you can just pick what you want from fucking anywhere. They normally do a big curry, a chicken curry with rice, and then they have like a a, a, a picky buffet as well. You, so you get a bit quiche. of everything. You yeah. get your chicken wings, you know, you get your pizza, they you get your fire. cold spring rolls. Oh, that's unbelievable. If you're fussy, you love a buffet. Yeah. Hide in plain sight. You'd be like, yeah, I'm just having this. Where you're like, I couldn't have two thirds of this, but I can have these. Yeah. Are you a They're quiche? Are you a quiche man? Never eaten quiche. Of course oh, he hasn't. Love a quiche, mate. A quiche Lorraine. Fuck it. It's Dan. It's Dan. A quiche Dan. Have you had a quiche Dan? <laughs> yeah. I've had a quiche Carl. Mate. No, I've never... Quiche is heavy. But yeah, we improve cuisines. We're not good at making them. We're good at making them better. Yeah, yeah. that's what we're famous for. Yeah. We'll have the Greek food over here. I think then. there might be a little bit of geography, geography bias in that because <laughs> everything's been made better to your palate that you've grown up with. Because the I've, testing I've of that, the, the, the testing of that world. would be to take it to, like, take our version of a cuisine to the home yeah, nation. Stupid. 
No, because all of these people are fucking set in the ways. They don't right. understand. What would you do, Adam, if someone in, say, India had a twist on the roast dinner? Stand. And, and you they do brought... you. I'll, I'll judge it for myself. Yeah. I'll have a bit. I'll try it. Leg of lamb. Yeah. Leg of lamb with a, you know, peshwari naan. Doesn't sound right. No, but they've cooked it different. The roasties are somehow soft. Yeah, it's a leg of, it's a tikka lamb. And they're like, I would just decide. Back in England, they're knobheads. We've improved this. Well, I'd be like, yeah, sound. You can have your opinion. I disagree. My Which is what they do. Better. It's basically you just like where you're, f- what y- what you've known where you're from is what yeah. you're saying. And look, everyone's entitled to their opinion, but at the end of the day, I'm right and they're wrong. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Food, ladies to be and fair, gentlemen. Pot noodles. That's where that started. Uh, uh, the Asian food that I have in England for, that I used to eat in Japan is better here as well. The the cuts of meat are better. In Japan, they eat all of it. So the chicken nuggets are horrible. The chicken nuggets are mackies and. Japan are disgusting. It's fucking bum holes in it, haven't they? Because they use different cuts of meat. Is right. this 100% chicken breast? No, it's got a bit of bum hole, a bit of knee. Yeah. Like, I reckon chicken nuggets in UK Mackey D's have probably got a little bit of chicken bum hole in it. 100% chicken breast. I've seen the advert. <laughs> you worked there? I did work there. I wasn't involved in the creation of the nuggets, though. They arrived in a freezer bag. Nice. Suzy. Uh, international Mackey D's, uh, since I was a kid. You love trying the different... It's better. It's, it's just so better. much fun. In Spain, they do wings. I love that. Oof. You had... Um, when we went to Spain, yeah. you had a whole buffet in front of you. In On the floor. I don't remember that, though. <laughs> On the floor. Oh, my God. I've just remembered KFC, <laughs> Lorette de Mar. Oh, my God. Slash hammered. Just done a parasol. <laughs> when was... I worked in Mackey's, I used to overcook the nuggets. On purpose, so that there would be 40 nuggets that couldn't be sold, <laughs> but I could just eat. Clever man. Statute of limitations is only 10 years, so they can't do me for that. The statute of limitations in the UK law is 10 years? Yeah. Oh, wow. Like, if you murdered someone 15 years ago, you saw now. It pretty A fairly negligent court case, though, wouldn't it, by McDonald's to try and take you to court for eating, allegedly, <laughs> 40 burnt <laughs> nuggets in 2012. <laughs> Yeah. It would be a little bit like we're going to take this cut down. Also, doesn't it follow to our different laws as well? I don't think murder. I think murder might be 12 years. <laughs> but meat is murder. You're welcome, veggies. Uh, should we do some questions? If you want. <laughs> do you want to? No, you, you don't have to. I want you to want to. Oh, you I want you to woman. be happy. I want you to, to want to do this. Want, what do you want to eat? What? What do you like? If we had the choice now, what do you want to eat? What's my favorite food? Have you ever had that conversation with your partner? I'm starving. What do you want? I know. Yeah, that's a brutal conversation when you live in a village because there's only fucking Domino's delivers. I ate that. I got a Domino's last night. Nine. Halfway. Good, but when they're the only gaff that delivers, you get annoyed with it. Yeah, it's, it's like when we were in over Rumcon, we got sick and Andos. I go through phases of Domino's, and I'm currently in a, on an off phase. Yeah, I'm the same, but on the way home last night, uh, I did a gig in Manchester last night and Alfie was with me and on the way back, he just wanted pizza, so went to Domino's on the road. What'd you get? Uh, they do a new one called the Ultimate Sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Happy days. That was your ma's favourite as well. It was, yeah. Um, your ma loves the, the meat feast. All the cock. Uh Pop, you put that word. I think, yeah. I think it was a, I'm not asked. It's just a pause. Hey, it was a good effort. There's hey. just a pause. There was a there pause. There was pepperoni on it. He didn't believe Duya. it. Oh, and red jalapeno. Is that a new thing in Doja? Because I'm banging into it. Yeah. Talk me is through like in Doja. New... It's like art. It's spicy sausage. Oh, like a, like a chorizo. Like oh. Turkish cock. It's it's weird. It's in a weird form. In Doja. Oh, it looks, yeah. it looks pretty bad. It's the new pulled pork. It's everywhere. In Doja. Yeah, I saw it at um, Baccaro's pulled... on a yeah. pizza. Yeah. Pulled pork had a fantastic couple of years, didn't oh, it? Mate, five right. years of greatness. It's, it's like gone. the meat chew of food. Yeah. Oh, you only had one and a half seasons, really. <laughs> yeah, you got you there on a teco. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. On a teco. <laughs> teco. He's in the third tier of Spanish football, isn't he? Meat chew. He's retired, hasn't he? Well, he was. So he, yeah. he, he After Mohamed Salah's first season at Liverpool, Carl called him the Egyptian meat chew. And then for a season and a half after that, oh, every shit, yeah. time Salah scored, oh, fuck, yeah, I, I sent him a photograph of meat chew. That's true. And then he There's a lot of photographs. Lot of photos, yeah. <laughs> He's so, turned into the salami. He doesn't send us any He's doing all right, isn't he? He's doing yeah. all right. Should we do some questions? Yeah, go on. If you want. If you want. But if do you, you want? If do you want to. I want you to be happy. I want to do some advice where Carl doesn't get annoyed with it and just go, don't fucking fuck off. 
That'd be good. Well, it depends what you're going to ask. Right, okay. I'm never going to fucking mask myself for your pleasure. No, I just, you just, you just get irritated with the, the process and then go, just don't, just don't do that. Next. Well, that's me, Dan. Yeah, I know, but it, you know, that's what I, that's what I don't want. Well, tough tits. Right, should we get some advice? No. I know exactly what Carl's going to do. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. It's fucking stupid. Max Rutherford says, Wagwad is listening to the pod when you are talking about Wien and Putin in the same room as your partner. I need some advice. My girlfriend keeps asking to hold my cock while I pee. What do you think the answer should be? Cheers, Lids. Already booked Hackney for next year. Max Rutherford, who used to work at a golf club for the fucking oh, golf the Tories. The lion guy. The lion yeah. gun guy. She wants to hold his cock while he's pissing. Is this a sexual thing? I mean... It must be, mustn't it? No maybe one wants to hold the cock just for a laugh. Maybe it's just in the nature of learning. Maybe she just wants to experience it. Maybe it's going to be a one-time thing and she goes, wow, look at that. I've always wanted to do that. It's quite obvious. Now though. I don't have to get my own dick. You'd always want a girl touching your dick. This always improves the situation. No, it no you That's don't. not true. It's no, you don't. Well, go on then. When I'm beating him in the third set, I you, love having my dick You wouldn't want Laura holding your dick as you were beating him. Oh, no, there's priorities. priorities. Why are you pissing? No. I'm not saying I want it, but like you're not going to like, improve oh, it. Then does it? You're not going to make it worse, though, is it? Like, oh, it is, awful. yeah. Why? Because I don't want to be thinking. You don't about... always want a girl touching. Your pe Imagine if Serica was under that table now, touching your penis. Would that be a better yeah. podcast? Yeah, that would. Absolutely. Of <gasps> no, it'd be it'd be well worse. No, no it, it wouldn't. wouldn't. And we don't know about it. Having a woman under there right now doing <laughs> anything to my dick off. and none of you know. No, she, oh. no, it's not, it's not wanking them off. Oh, she's just holding your penis. Yeah. Just, no, even wanking me off. Just pinching yeah. it. Just pinching it like, I've just got, I've got it, Carl. Don't worry. I won't tell anyone you're here. Finn's kicked me three times. What? How does that, why is that good? No, secret sex touch, touches are just fantastic. Yeah. If I finger the woman in the back of a taxi <laughs> and the driver's got no idea. I'm not saying it wow. never, but the whole thing of like, oh, it's always good to have a woman holding your penis is... Not, not right. <laughs> I don't know why she sat so high up. Like. Also, that shared not, Uber's gone wrong, hasn't it? That's not secret. You take your risk. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I did it down there, the camera wouldn't see you. Are you on the camera? Oh, right, yeah. yeah. You're like, mate, being busy. What time are you on till? She's like, what? Yeah. Ignore her, mate. She's just coming. <laughs> oh, right. I'll ignore her then. <laughs> Well, I was going to look back and wonder what's happening, but if she's enjoying an orgasm. <laughs> nah, it, listen. It's weird, but I wouldn't be, like, if she wants to try it, I'd be like, yeah, go for it. You're not going to like it. Problem is, what if she goes, that was so much fun and it's my new thing. I want to hold your dick every time you wee. That's but the problem. I, I'm just, I'd just draw a line under this before it even starts. If it's a sexual thing, then that's different because I think you've got to do whatever you can to satisfy your partner's sexual needs. But if this is just she just wants to hold willies because she because she, <laughs> she likes doing it and it's nothing to do with sex, put me cock down, love. Piss on it on a little bit. She'll never do it. Yeah, again. I was <laughs> yeah, there you go. Don't, no, some, that, don't some women love getting pissed on. What if it's some sort of sabotage and she just wants to control your aim and then she just aims it up? Yeah, but you're being gaslit, Max. She wants to control where you piss, mate. This is getting a bit sinister. You know, always pissing into the. If she just aims it up and he pisses on his own face, she can yeah, that's what it. I mean. That's that's not ideal. It's not ideal. Yeah, but if she also chops it off with a knife while she's holding it, that's not it. You can't, just because she wants to hold it, doesn't, like, she's like, ah! You I think you'd like, ask her, if it's sexual, you got to let her do it. And if she's just like, no, no, I just want to hold it, she's a fucking weirdo, mate, say no. What happens Pissing time is my time. By the way, I am losing so many hours of my life to the toilet car got me. <laughs> yeah. We all knew that was going to happen. Are well, you losing him? Is it really lost? No, you're going to warn bum bum. You just, like, just, uh, time you can't do anything exist. else while you're there. It's just joy. Dan, if Laura said to you, um, you know, I've got a new thing, I want to try it, I want to wipe your ass, put you in a nappy. <laughs> but that, you, but you, <laughs> you escalated that, you're like, yeah, it's not enough, I'm taking up to nappy stage. <laughs> but she was like, yeah, it's a sexual thing, would you go, yeah? Or would you be like, nah. Yeah, I'm keeping my shit in away from all Even if sexual... she were, uh, she's not going to be embarrassed, because she's, she's asking and she wants to try it. I would try almost anything sexual that my girlfriend wanted to try. I No, there's, a, there's personally... A line for me, and it, oh, it's really, it, yeah. yeah. Plop in, come on, man. Oh, she's just you, Adam's saying bumble. about pissing time is his time. Plopping time is a private, yeah. you know, that's a horror that only I need to deal yeah, with. But you might unlock some kind of fucking like mad sex thing that is great, yeah. But there's some things you've got to judge before it happens because I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be horrified by that, even if she weirdly turns like, yeah, wipe, little wet wipe, a bit of a towel, yeah. But well, then I'm getting freaked out, aren't I? Legs up. Oh, you're not Put me in a vest, you. and I toddle off. <laughs> me and Jack. That's just... up to you to do that. 
What? <laughs> All right, so the nappy isn't weirdly childlike in the first place. You're making it childlike. It's actually an adult nappy. It's for incontinent. That does happen. Yeah. Not. I'm not that old. That. Have you ever seen adult, Have you ever seen adult babies? It's like sex wing. Yeah, I have. Yeah. It's incredible. Yeah, but I don't want it attached to shitting. Like I, I'd honestly, if a girl was like sort of like the baby thing, dummy, big nappy, I'd be like, if she was amazing, like hot, and I'd, you know, because a lot of things you like, you have to sort of go, well, I really like her, and I don't want to lose her. So you, in your head, you're like, I'll give it a go. But shitting is not. Shitting's off the table. I would try it, and then if I didn't like it, go listen. That was not for me. I if it was shitting, I'd be like, look, I'll try it if you really want to, but I don't really. But I need you to sign this disclaimer. Love. But at the same time, like I love getting rimmed. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> You've never had a bit of bump. I know that's either. not shit, but it is the asshole, which is it's such a close cousin. If it really is, I think he's the father, isn't he? <laughs> the asshole is the father of shit, not the cousin. Vote have a word dot com by the way. <laughs> Get us on channel four. <laughs> Harry Cullen, would you rather? Would you rather never have to eat again? You'll still be able to eat when you need to, family meal or date. But in normal day to day life, you'll never need to eat or cook again. But we'll I, always I have. Because I'm still <laughs> laughing at Carl in my head. Can you uh, ask again? Sorry, I really. Do you sorry. know that happens literally every episode now? <laughs> yeah. It does. You go what? Yeah, but you move on before I've told you it's okay. <laughs> It's your fault. <laughs> I'm not going to be reading questions next time. There we go. <laughs> go on. Start what's, again. What's ask ask you Colo. Question. Said. You what? Colo. Oh, Colo. Would you rather never have to eat again? You'll still be able to eat when you need to. So like for a family meal or a date. But in normal life, day to day, uh, you'll never need to eat or cook again, but we'll always have enough energy for the day without ever feeling hungry. You basically take away the medical need for food as an energy source. Or... You never have to sleep again. Once again, you can sleep if you want, but you will never need to and will always feel like you've had a perfect night's sleep. Sleep one. Meaning you'll be... Can you just can I just finish? You get stabbed Co in the sleep one. Meaning you'll be way more productive and have uh, more hours in the day. Or a third or... A second or, Whoa. sorry. Whoa. Never have to spend time traveling within this country. This means you can teleport, but only for things inside the country, meaning you can save all the time you waste in the car or on the train getting oh, from gigs, but you can't teleport on holiday to holiday or to another country. Teleport. Which is your... Teleporting! No, I don't know. See, he doesn't do the miles of a comic, so it's not as... I enjoy my car. Right, yeah, but you can still use it if you want. Oh, can I? I enjoy yeah. eating, and I enjoy sleeping, and I don't enjoy traveling. Yeah, you enjoy sleeping because you need it. If you didn't need it, you wouldn't be asked. No, sleeping's great. I know, I love sleeping. I the food that, thing, yeah. by the way, that's not the answer. I enjoy food. Yeah, and I enjoy preparing it. Even as hours, a foot, even as a like a fussy knobhead with food, I'd be like, I still you get a lot of enjoyment from eating. Not having to sleep would make me so much more productive. Yeah, it's so much more it would productive. Make you fucking insane, though. No, would, no, 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 no. That this it, it it wouldn't make you insane because he's saying. You get sleep taken away, but you're still fine. You know, but I know, but I mean, sleep is like the reset for the day, isn't it? Even if <laughs> yeah, all the day it blends. Yeah, that's it? what I mean. It's all one thing. But you, you can't. Nothing sleep. breaks anything up. Can you still sleep if you want? Yeah. Oh yeah, then that's fine. You just you just, you just have a forty minute like you get to forty like like half seven in the morning. Go right. I'm gonna get forty minutes and then wake up at ten past eight. Ready. That will be fire. Waking up ready for the day I, every day. I honestly. Begr like begrudge how much time you lose to sleep even though sleeping is great i've been waking up in the night recently so fucking annoying because you like you wake up and like if you can't get straight back to sleep that hour is such a fucking waste because you know you you're going to be tired the next day it's such a shit feeling i'd love to take sleep away teleporting would be fucking tremendous eating's off the table for me yeah I would consider not sleeping. It's the teleport one by a mile. I like sleeping. I like eating. And um, I don't like traveling. So, yeah, a train journey can fuck off. If I can teleport Just a train like, journey. Wow. I'm in London. That would be such an amazing way <laughs> to initiate the teleporting. Yeah, but what happens if you're at, if you're at Anfield and you accidentally clap? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. I'm in Shrewsbury. Just go back. Yeah. Get out of my seat, mate.
I was just in Shrewsbury I am for a going second. with transport. Just for... I would still drive for train journeys. You don't have to do train journeys now, Carl. You can take no, you train do. journeys out of your life. No, you do. I'm No, I've... I almost never take the train. I used to go to London. I used to get the train. Mm, yeah, London is the one. I used to get the train a lot. I used to like the time sat at a table being able to like. It's well, better like, getting the train than driving. Yeah. A long distance. But oh now the trains are so fucked because the Tories won't pay anyone's, anyone a proper wage. This They're a fucking nightmare. Yeah, I just, I just don't Do you know like the reason it. they're all getting cancelled is because they've stopped paying overtime. So before the, the train drivers would do the journey like that they were booked to do. They The train would be in Newcastle, but it'd be needed back in Birmingham. They do overtime after their shift to take that train back to Birmingham. So at the start of the next day, the train was in the right place to get to where it needs to go. So they've gone, yeah, we're not paying out any overtime because they're cunts. And now the trains are all in the wrong fucking place. That's why there's so many cancellations or part of the reason why there's so many cancellations. The trains are boned, but you have to roll the dice because it's London. Because I, I hate driving down there. I'd love to not sleep. I think it. I, that's it's difficult. It's a good question. I thought it wasn't going to be at the start, but it's between sleep and teleporting, and I'm probably going to go with teleporting. But then waking up nice and Although refreshed. Although I'm married, every day, be fine. yeah. If it's yeah, just be, you. if I definitely get refreshed, <clears throat> defo, then nah, that'd be great. Mm. The problem is it. The way that it is, I'm married. So if Laura's like, do you know what, babe? Oh, I'm not saying I could. She goes to bed at like 9 p.m. at the latest. Yeah, you don't have to tell her. I'm you can still tell her. tired. You can still sleep. You just don't rely on it. You could literally go, oh, no, but yeah, me she, too. She, so what did you do last night? Did you do everything? Because I've got loads of washing you could have been doing last night. Yeah, you just uh, don't tell her you've got this power. Yeah. You could have... Yeah, Keep but, it a secret from your wife. Oh. So Keep she wakes up from women. She, she wakes up in the night... <laughs> And you're not in your bed. They, uh, women will Where eventually the fuck use were you? everything you've Where got to you. Where were you last night? Where were you? Right. I've got a secret superpower. I don't <laughs> need to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Try that next time you don't sleep in your bed. <coughs> Where were you last night? Fucking, you know, solving the crimes. Room. You don't have to leave the house. You don't have to go gallivanting. <laughs> Just because you're awake. I'd go gallivanting. <laughs> <laughs> I'd turn into a night As crawler a real quick. By the way, you got a Jack uh, Whitehall barnet on the go there. I've got one. Yeah, it looks like Jack Whitehall's. Does it? You've like scratched the back of it up. Cool. <laughs> I think you. Now you look like Jim Carrey in court. <laughs> <laughs> the pen is. <laughs> oh, you fixed it, yeah? Yeah. I'm going with. For audio listeners, Adam looks mad. <laughs> I'm going with sleep. I'm going to do a second sleep. I'm going to go with sleep. If I. Have we been in sleep? Mm. No, going for I'm doing sleep is my choice. Sleep is my choice as long as I always feel yeah. fully refreshed. Bam. We're That's never sleeping one. again. I think we're all there with you, Harry Cullen. Break well, time. Well done, Cullo. Let's get the fastest person we know in. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening, everyone? Time to tell you about my absolute favorite sponsor. Stitch Fix. Carl, you've heard of Stitch Fix, haven't you? Absolutely. The people who do all the heavy clothes. Yeah. Online shopping service. Go online at stitchfix.co.uk slash word. Set up your profile. Pick out what you like the look of. They'll sort of decide your style and you pick out your sizes and then they'll send you stuff and they'll improve your clobber, innit? Do you need to subscribe? Oh. No. Oh, common misconception there, lads. Here's the best part. Usually you pay a styling fee of £10 each time you order. But our friends at Stitch Fix... Have a special offer for who, Carl? For oh, have a word, listeners, of course. For you guys who are listening. You yeah. right? Do it. Just do it natural. Them, yeah. Right now. Them. Do the, it. The styling charge for your first order will be waived. Oh, um, and they'll waive it. How do they get that waived? What do they, they, have they to just do? just do it. Oh, really? Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Giving you the opportunity to try the service completely free of charge. They're just dead sound. There's no subscription required. Oh, you mentioned that before. You got some stuff, didn't you? Like you got boots, they were heavy. You got Did like I? Leg. Yeah, they sent some stuff last year and it was lovely. Yeah, it's stuff that I wouldn't have actually gone for. But you wore And it. then you get it, try it on and go, nice. That's the benefit. Sometimes you're like, you know what? I've never tried that, but I've trusted them. And, and I got home and Laura went, wow, I'm going to bang you twice this month. What? Well, there's the sale. Yeah, yeah. she owes me one of those. Get started today <laughs> at stitchfix.co.uk slash word and you'll receive your first fix. Not your first fix, your first, first fix, fix styled and delivered to you absolutely free. And to sweeten the deal, Carl, 
to sweeten the deal. Make it sweeter. Bel- <laughs> How sweet, though? I mean, want it to be sweet. Two, some things can be too sweet. Two sugars. What about 20%? Oh, oh, That's off. Two, 20%. No, not 20% on. Cash back. 20% off <laughs> when you keep all five items. Which you're going to. Uh, again, that's stitchfix.co.uk slash word. You've got nothing to lose. Sorry, so I say that last bit more naturally. You've got nothing to lose. Let's try it a third time. You got nothing to lose. Yeah, that, that was the one, wasn't it? Stitch fix. Oh, yeah. One I- of the best people we know in it, this guest. A good person. He's a good friend. He's a terrible person. A charitable man. A charitable man. Oh, uh, at what point do I butt in here? <laughs> Hi. Freddie Quincy, yeah? That's still a clap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, yeah. Um, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I was just saying before we started, I think you might be the worst person I know. Why? Just, I don't know. Do you know, like, there's certain people in your life, like, if it came out that, like, Carl, like, if I heard a Twitter rumour that Carl had, like, murdered 12 women, I'd be like, it didn't happen. Yeah. He, ap- it, he did not do that. Maybe at least 12. If it was about you. You'd be surprised I stopped at 12. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, when's the rest coming out? Do you know what I mean? There's no way. It's a fucking weird calendar, isn't it, for 2023? <laughs> it's one murder a month, isn't it? That's yeah. doable. Yeah. How many murders do you reckon you could commit? <laughs> If you if you if you could only commit one murder at a time, how many do you reckon you could do before you got caught? But you have an infinite amount of money and an infinite amount of time to like plan it and how you get rid question, of it. Question, question to uh, the proposer: Do I have to know the person or have reason to murder them? Am I allowed to just murk someone out of the blue? Totally out of the blue. Random. I think I think as long as I didn't break down and just implode emotionally, if I didn't have that, if I had the like killer streak. I think as long as you don't know them and there's no fucking reason to thousands. kill someone. Thousands, yeah. F- thousands? Thousands. Yeah. Thousands. Easy. Oh, man. So, yeah. No, no, no. I'd make no. Mussolini look so, like a silly so, little so, girl. So thousands. He was a murderer. You would, what you would, he? so for thousands, you would back yourself to murder one person a day every day for about three years. No, yeah, easy. I'm doing it over like a 10, 20 year span. Well, it, thousands over a 10 year span is still what, like... One a week? Easy. Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> Just Sunday drivers. Just have a sniper rifle on the motorway and wait for the middle lane driver. Bam. Nah, sniper's going to get you found That's out. That's how I go to sleep. People think I'm weird for that. What, sniper ah. people? Yeah. So, <laughs> so, um, so, right. So you know how, right. You know when you're in bed at night, what do you think about in order to get to sleep? Oh, oh my God, Freddie. I am going to connect with you so badly on this. You have to think about weird stuff that isn't real. Otherwise, your head starts ticking about work and life. So you just create weird little role play things. I have I have honestly, to get to sleep at night, thought about being a weird sort of like... Like a mercenary. A, a mercenary yes. who goes out and kills people. So I do it every night. <laughs> So oh that's God. how you lose so I'm genuinely worried about myself. So oh. In order in order to get to sleep at night, what can I, I just, do can I just check before you carry on? Did you just say you were genuinely worried about yourself? Or you are worried about yourself? Oh no. Uh, because I'm telling you right now, the fact that he does it as well yeah. shouldn't make you feel any better about this. Oh no, 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 no. The fact that I thought it was just a weird thing that sometimes I did. I thought I had this vigilante thing like, right, here are the list of all the paedophiles in the region, and I just go and murk them with special powers. Oh, I'm and not I even... la 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 and I, I genuinely... You're awful when you get to your own name on that list, oh, no. <laughs> I mean that's well, I hope this is Laura. That's another uh, way that we differ because I'm killing women and kids. I'm like, there I'm, I'm go. going out though. I'm, I'm killing all of them. Makes you the worst <laughs> person we know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm killing everybody. I'm, I'm a mercenary. I'm a, I'm a gun for hire. Uh, Why? You send yourself to sleep by killing women and children. No, not just anyone and everyone. I don't discriminate. I'll, Freddie, um, in, you're a hitman. In... You're not. You're not a vigilante. Yeah, I'm a hitman basically. Oh, I'm sort so, of a semi superhero. So, so here's vigilante. the thing, right? Is what I do is <laughs> I fall asleep and I imagine getting myself into the position and having the little rifle and that and looking down the scope and like finding my target. And that's how I fall asleep. <laughs> but recently, oh, God. right? So recently. Why are you admitting this on the internet? <laughs> This every, is going to be played in court one day. Every time. <laughs> every podcast he does is really good, but it, it brings him closer to the end of his career. Every time I do something connected with Have a Word, I lose something. And so now I've come in fully knowing that I'm going to, this is going to bite me in the arse at some point. What have you lost? 
You what, sorry? Ass. <laughs> some, um, of, some of his contracts, you never talk about Off the top of my head, head, I lost that book deal um, with you guys because I came in here and talked about manipulating women. Yeah. And a, and a publicist was like, I don't think you were joking. Yeah, but, like, oh, you think I went to a comedy podcast and seriously talked about my love of manipulating women, you fucking idiot. Um, but I, but you, you do go asleep by... Murdering people. Sniping children. That's not manipulating them, is it? <laughs> it is. It's manipulating them to death. <laughs> Hang on. So you you, that, just, you think you, that's what the problem with the book deal was? The publisher was like, look, if you were murdering these women, fine. Yeah. But don't manipulate them and leave them to live. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? Actually, I quite like the idea of manipulating where they go with my rifle and just shooting near them so they all go in like cattle. <laughs> Into like a pen or something. You're why heard, am I weird? in women. What? What do you mean? Why are you weird? Hating <laughs> people. No, you're focusing on the women and children bit. I kill everyone in my. He's dreams. a pro. Do you kill animals? What? Sorry. Dogs. And no, them? that's who's putting terrible. A, who's putting a hit out on an animal? <laughs> who's putting a hit out on a child? A vet. Also, as well, how over the top is it to sniper a dog? Do you know what I mean? Oh, well too you far. could just boot one in the face. You don't need to fucking you can sniper. Boot a child it. in the face. This what? is the worst episode we've ever done, and I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> you boot a child in the face. Yeah, but you get caught instantly. What are we doing, <laughs> Freddie? Freddie, in the in the role play that, that sends you to sleep because you're actually a psycho, and I'm not far behind you. Do you have to? Do you have a contact or is that already done? It's already done. The... Oh, I don't dream about like, the... <laughs> I don't dream Clint. about the admin beforehand. <laughs> I don't dream about the meeting two weeks before. Freddie's driving down the M6. This is taking ages. <laughs> I'll go, fall asleep. I go straight into the ad. I go straight into the action. But... I can't do that with fantasies, even like sexual. In in a sexual fantasy I'm having about like a woman I've met in real life, uh. I have to imagine how we end up fucking Wait, before yeah, we yeah, get yeah, So yeah, yeah, So yeah. when you have a wank, it starts with like getting drinks at the bar. No, yeah. no, no. It starts yeah. on booking.com. <laughs> like, I'm going to need a room. <laughs> no, it, it, it does. It starts with like how the evening would begin, yeah. Context in porn is vital. You can't just get to the fucking... Adam starts walk. wanking when he's like, oh, the mains was lamb. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. This brings me back to the whole fucking shooting thing. So... I've been falling asleep like that, like literally every night for as long as I can remember. Right Before the kill. Yeah. But recently, right, my other half has had problems sleeping. So because you're always polishing your sniper rifle in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> so you so yeah. I combined yeah. the two and I shot her. I mean, I've been sleeping with an AK-47 like I'm in full metal jacket. <laughs> Funny postcode. <laughs> um, I, <laughs> that's a great niche joke. <laughs> Rough around you, uh, yeah. Um, so, right, uh, she's been listening to Headspace to help her get to sleep, and that you know Headspace, they've got sleep like cast. totally. So they've got like little fucking stories, like you know, it's a quiet day in the soap shop as the woman who owns it goes round and gently checks all of the soap. And it fucks. Adam's just been hired from his voiceover agent to do some of that work. Yeah, they reckon it'll be really... Fuck off. Yeah. I am doing a sleep Lad, app. the train's fucking packed. <laughs> I am doing a sleep app. No, you're not. I am. There's no is way. His voiceover, his voiceover agent's just boxing them. There's yeah. no way you're doing a I sleep app. I did the audition two weeks ago and I got the job this morning. Go on, give me the... Give me the... the oh, there's yeah. going to be a range I've of scripts. To, I've got to be given a script, but like the, it's, it's sort of ASMR, isn't it? It's just constant talking at a soft... But, again, take this... I, I, I don't want to cause offence to your listenership... But Scouse isn't the right voice for ASMR, yeah, is it? It is, it is for, if you're Scouse. It is for Scouses. Or is people it? who've got a Scouse sexual Lads, You're down the leather shop, there's loads of leather. Imagine lying down on all the leather. You're faster kept now. <laughs> Shut the fuck up and don't shoot no one in your dreams. And if you do, keep my name out of your fucking mouth. So anyway, <laughs> right. <laughs> so her, her Headspace app has been fucking with my... Imagining that I'm a sniper. Just pretend thing. you're blowing the soul woman's head off. That's what I've started yes. doing. So now I use the headspace as like a jumping point for narrative. So she's in the soap shop and I'm imagining that I'm fucking diving in, fucking shooting up all the bath bombs and shit and causing havoc in Lush. So how are you two? <laughs> yeah, good, good, good. <laughs> Already been to Lush today, luckily. Do you know how I go to sleep? I put country music on. Oh, that's worse. That's worse. That's worse. <laughs> yeah, that's worse. That's worse. I'd rather go and see Freddie's dream live than see fucking country music. Well, you're see coming you. to see it in Nashville. We've got our Luke Combs tickets I am, came through I sell yesterday, my mate. Fucking tickets. Woo! <laughs> um, it, it's so I either weird. put that on or I put friends on. You put friends on? I put something on that I've seen before and I know every word of because yep. it takes me brain to that. 
And I can't, like, my me ang- me anxiety, my anxious thoughts can't get in. Because it's, it's focusing on an anxiety, the thing. Yeah. And uh, my brain's focusing on the story because I already know it. It sort of bores me so it's me sleep. Yeah. Well, you are, like, I, I, I can't get my head around those people that put telly on to fall asleep. Oh, I do. I Specifically, I telly that they haven't seen. Because it's like... That's too interesting. Th- yeah, that's... that's, yeah, that's I can't, I, no, I can't do that. It has to be a show or a film that I've seen many times. Yeah. Like, I could fall asleep to School of Rock. I couldn't fall asleep to, like, I don't know, uh, The Shawshank Redemption. I've only seen that once. But also, as well, I think it... <laughs> and it's dead Sorry, good. fall asleep to The Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't do that because I've only seen it once. It's quite long as well. <laughs> yeah. I have been known to procure various incendiary items from time to time. You just fucking faster kip. It was what? that what? It was that meant to be? It was well. It wasn't. I wasn't trying to be Morgan Freeman, but that was what his character Red says. So why did you do that voice if you weren't trying to be him? He was. Well, <laughs> I gave it. Well, all right. Basically, what I did is I made a judgment call, and I went, "You probably can't pull off an eighty-year-old black man." And so I went about a <laughs> third of the way. <laughs> oh, come on. A lot of a, a, a lot a lot of them are widowers, so you can. They'd be quite happy for it. God, can't be Freddy. wanking old black men off. God. Oh right, I said pull off, and right, that's on, where Freddy. we are. Come on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I thought I'd said something. Horrific. Terrific then, and that was, but that's no. fine. That's he fine. wasn't was 80 when it was filmed either. No. Also, I reckon you could do a decent Morgan Freeman if you really tried. I can. No. <laughs> really? Can you? Yeah. Can you have Chino as well? <laughs> <laughs> I've been, um, from Freeman. what film? From what film, Adam? <laughs> I've been walking around. Can tr- you do Al Pacino doing the Shawshank? <laughs> you tried yourself. A fucking mile of shit. <laughs> she had a great pipe. Sorry, God. Can you do Morgan Freeman, please, Adam? <laughs> uh, what do you want me to say? Uh, the um, the, the seventh moment seven. he walked in, the Shawshank, I knew he was fucked. You sound more like Benoit Blanc. Oh, yeah. Cool. yeah. I can do that as well, then. Well, <laughs> now. <laughs> Another one for the resume. I do believe there's been a murder. His accent does me fucking head in, not yeah, because you know it's Daniel Craig, yeah. didn't you? Just talk like you Daniel know Craig. it's Daniel Craig. You're like, why are you fucking talking like that, you dick? It doesn't add anything to the Also, mold. I watched Glass Onion all the way through, uh, not last night, the night before, and it's fucking poo. No, it, well, it's not. Is it, it is. It's I terrible. Guess, right. I guessed it very early. Okay. No car chases. Tell me, <laughs> tell me why it's poo. Oh, because it's just a fucking, it's, stu- it's a fucking stupid story, isn't it? It's just stupid. It's not well written. You see it coming a mile off. Halfway through, they're like, oh my gosh, not even this. So you bad. saw, spo- no. spoiler alert. Spoiler no, alert. I don't, I, hang on, I've not watched it yet. You okay. Want to? Right. I you do, don't, I do. You, no, you don't. You and me don't agree on films, mate. Yeah. What's your favourite film? This doesn't matter what my favourite film is. Ooh. We've referenced so many on here. Morgan Can Freeman. I play? Uh, my favourite film is The Truman Show. Cool, I man. think that's the greatest film that I've ever seen. I, I And I think it's a great film to have as your favourite film. His wife scares me, though. Oh, uh, Laura Linney. Yeah, she scares me. Yeah. Why is it a great film to have as your favourite film? Because I think it is uh, a really like multi-layered film with lots of different things going on, lots of different things that it's kind of commenting on. And Jim Carrey. And it's a fucking great performance from Jim Carrey, who was up until that point only known for fucking liar, liar, this pen is r- 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 royal blue, all that shit. And then he delivers a fucking Mate, our house. Good, good film. And liar, the mask. Liar, liar. Yeah, the mask, Ice Ventura, he smashed it. Yeah, but it, is, the... but it is a bit more childlike, and all of that stuff is for kids as well. What do you think the greatest background film is? Put in the... There's only one answer, by the way. The greatest background film? Like Harry, sort of... Harry Potter. Is that what you're going to say? No. No. Nah, I think you need a like a gangster film with wall-to-wall great scenes. So maybe Goodfellas or Pulp Fiction. But does, not, like does that. that not draw you in, though? Yeah, you know, no, background, you know, it's the social network. Such a good background film. You put it on, like the way it's like the story, it's all really nice. Honestly, trust me, it's a great background film. People agree with me. Oh, it is paced really well. I put, I put it in the same bracket as Moneyball and, oh, um, Moneyball. and The Big Short. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see. beautifully done. Just very easy to drop in and out of. Welcome to the Mark Commode Film Podcast on Radio 4. But we like we like film. I think there's too gripping to, to drop no, in and out. No, it's not know. gripping. It's, it's very nicely paced and it's, there's no like big scenes. It's just, it's nice to have on the background. Trust me. Try. Big short, phenomenal. It's great, isn't it? What is? Although Liar Liar is good as well. Can we not slug off Liar Liar? Yeah. It's Fire? fucking Glass great. Onion's good. I, I, I liked it. It's dog shit. It's the worst film I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, <laughs> no, we saw Space Jam 2 together. <laughs> what? We saw Space Jam 2 <laughs> Space together. Jam 2 is in its own special category, though. I can't believe we went to the cinema to watch Space Jam 2. You're so angry about it's, it. Because uh, the acting in it is horrific, and the editing is somehow worse. There's a moment where 
They cut, and I, I know I spoke about it on this after we watched it. There's a moment meatballs. where, yeah, where um, LeBron James's wife in it goes, we're having meatballs for dinner. And it cuts to him. And he looks right down, like he's looking just off the camera like that. And there's about four seconds and he goes, that's my favorite. <laughs> and then goes in for his dinner. But it's like they've got, right, are we ready? Ready? Action. You know what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's my favourite. And they've left it all in. It's fucking insane. Okay. You, know they, you know they didn't trust him if they said action and they went, do you know what you're doing? <laughs> so, Adam, how would you play that line then? How should it be played properly? I'll, I'll, you, I'll cue you up. How would you play LeBron? I'll, I'll, I'll cue you up. So I'm doing, we're having meatballs for dinner yeah. and you're going to deal, that's my favourite, in the most convincing way. Okay. We're having meatballs for dinner. Shit, that's my favourite. <laughs> oh, he can do Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Space Jump 2. Shit, Shit. that's my favourite, Bitch, that's my favourite. Cook it up. Oh, mama cooking tonight. I'm the only crowbar that in for the joke. And he's got a machine where if you say ball, it fires a ball at you. So the joke is he says meatballs and then he gets hit in the face with a ball. It's uh, <laughs> Here's a question. What is the greatest hangover film of all time? And I don't mean from the hangover franchise. When you're hungover. <laughs> what what is the best film to watch when you're hungover? Oh, that is a good one. You have to be able to fall asleep to it then. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. So I always fall asleep if I'm watching something on a hangover me. I think it just has to be something you don't have to concentrate on every scene on, because your brain does just go off when you're hungover. Maybe something like super bad. I like that one. Superbad's a great shot. Did someone say Saving Private Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking mental? Imagine waking up, your fucking head's pounding, and they're storming the beaches at fucking Dunkirk. <laughs> <laughs> fucking head banging. No. Da -da 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 That's no. awful. Because you've got it on low volume, so it's like... Ch -ch 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 -ch. No. <laughs> Steve, the, it's a fucking The waves show. of the beach. The, oh, oh that, because yeah. that's what everyone remembers <laughs> from Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> Did you enjoy the film? Yeah. What a lovely shot. What a lovely yeah. beach. Yeah. I must yeah. visit northern France. <laughs> that's what the, that's what Captain Tom remembered most. The waves at the beach during <laughs> World War II. Yeah, do you know what? He was too busy listening to the sea through the seashells to actually kill any Germans. What the fuck are you talking it's about, be, Steve? It's gotta be animation. It's gotta be like certain Pixar, Disney, Chicken Run. <laughs> oh yes, something like Find um, the Nemo. Oh. That's a great shout, actually, animation based. Something where you can just like chill and it's lovely. Not on like Halloween, like up. Wally is, I mean, that's quite Halloween, isn't it? I like, I like being in tune with my emotions when I'm hungover. Wally. So I like a romantic one. Like P.S. I Love You is a great uh, hangover film. What? What, are you a menopausal woman? No, I'm a man. <laughs> <laughs> a menopausal man. <laughs> P.S. I love you. Have you seen it? Yeah, yes, with Gerard Butler. Yeah. Leave them little fucking stupid letters. Yeah, and he P. loved, her. He loved he her so you. much that he wanted her to move on and fuck other people because that's what love is. <laughs> is that the one with the terrible Irish accent? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what you watch when you're hungover. That, Notting Hill. Where does piss porn come into it? Is that later on? Sometimes I'll pause it, but we just on. Oh, nice, because that's what love is. Hang on, pause that. Lord of Biden Citizen, what about that? What? Lord of Biden Citizen. No, it's too much. I, I just I like, I like, <laughs> I, I get very sort of uh, lovey, needy, and like. Uh, sort to. What? Sort to. <laughs> yeah. I think that Any rom com or any, like, not even com, but rom, like. Rom rom. rom. Just yeah, rom rom. Yeah, rom rom. Um, <laughs> Romesh Renee. Like, uh, <laughs> anything special? with Romesh. Uh, I, I just really. Um, Nothing with Robin Williams in, because I just get sad about Robin Williams. Because I think Goodwill Hunting is a good hangover film. I just, yeah. Never what? seen it. I just don't think I'm over his death. Never seen it. Oh, You've it's... never seen Goodwill Hunting. No, I don't know. I know I should have, but I haven't. Yeah. Oh, it's. Same. Yeah, it's just a great film, isn't it? You haven't seen Kevin and Penny go large, Steve, back in your box? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking pathetic. I actually think that you're on the right lines in terms of the genre. I want to connect I, to it. I don't think that you can watch anything at when you got a fucking pounding headache. Yeah. You can't watch cars being blown up and people being shot to pieces, but you can't watch anything that's like a thriller or anything that makes you concentrate Shot too an much. island. Oh, no. Terrible. Imagine. Oh, no. Horrific. <laughs> no. Anxiety, Arguably yeah. the worst film to watch hungover. I that know. fucking terrifying ghost woman who's like... At the start, oh, my God. She's my sleep paralysis demon, What's you know. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That one at the start is just, oh my God, honestly, I, she's visited me in my dreams. 
She's fucking terrifying. Do you know what I'm going to say? Phony little bitch. Freddie shot her in I'm his gonna... dreams. <laughs> I'm going to say when Harry met Sally. <laughs> Menopausal woman what? For a, for a hangover film. Okay, I don't think I've yeah, ever yeah. seen her. Why You've never seen... Is that so... you had me at What's Happening? What, sorry? Is that that one? You no, had me at Hello. Jerry Maguire. That's Jerry Maguire, isn't it? <laughs> I, you know, I thought You've never seen when... Hmm? when ha You've never seen when Harry met Sally? I'll have no, what I'll she's have having. Is yeah, yeah, yeah. The orgasm scene. I haven't seen it, Freddie, so I don't know what he's talking oh, about. I, I've never seen it. I'll have a cheese having someone's coming in the next room. Hmm. But it's a cake in it or yeah. a pie. It's a great guess at what it is. <laughs> no, I've seen that. She goes, he goes, no one has ever faked an orgasm with me. She goes, yeah. And she's eating yeah. the yeah, cake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's eating the yeah. cake, isn't she? And she goes, there you go. Yeah, I, you, you wouldn't be able to tell if I was faking an orgasm. And he was like, nope, I could tell. And then someone would and go, then she, no, no, you? yeah. And then she pretends to, and she does it. Superbly well. It's it's a it's such a great scene. Do you reckon a woman's ever faked an orgasm with you? Yeah, I've said it before. I don't mind. It's fine, isn't it? But mm. just don't do it. We don't want you to. Yeah. Mm. Do you reckon women have ever faked their orgasms with you? Not in no. a re not in a restaurant though. <coughs> in a restaurant, every orgasm's been real. <laughs> no, yeah, I reckon yeah, yeah. I reckon women have faked the enthusiasm with me, but never an orgasm. <laughs> That's the same thing, isn't it? <laughs> you are. That's the same thing. <laughs> uh, it's not really, is it? Yeah, you, like, can have a like you can be enthusiastic about it, but What's not What's a non-enthusiastic orgasm? What? What's a non-enthusiastic orgasm? Oh, uh, done. It's just like, oh. uh, and you don't pal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Keep it going. Yeah. Plenty of room. <laughs> yeah. Hangover film, uh, I'm going rom-com. But I also, I don't mind a bit of School of Rock as well. I know it's got music in it, but it's just so easy to watch. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a light, light, it's almost like a light com in it. Yeah, I watched yeah. that hungover over Christmas. It was on uh, Comedy Central. Even though it's on Netflix, yeah. if it's on the telly, I'm more likely to watch it. Can I it. throw out Step Brothers? It's just, yeah. it makes me feel better funny, a show. lot of the time. Like if I just want something that I'm going to like, that I know, is, and when I'm hungover, I do like a bit of simplicity. It's too funny. Yeah, it's too funny. I want to just be able I could, to just I couldn't melt. watch Team America World Police Hungover because I no, that's piss too, myself laughing at that's it. That's too much. I think that's too much really hungover. Fuck, what about funny. like a coming of age film like uh, Jojo Rabbit or something like that? Oh, no. That makes me sad. There's some sad Too much. I, I, I would watch Jojo Rabbit Hungover yeah. because it makes me sad because I want to feel. I've got a Jojo Rabbit. Sometimes I feel it. numb when I'm hungover and I need to feel. That's why I watch rom coms. Jojo Rabbit is another good one. Um, it's the Bucket bleak. List. Fantastic hangover film. Told you that's where the, the saying was coined. Did you know that? What? The bucket list wasn't the saying before the film existed. Oh. Yeah. I yeah. didn't know that. What do you mean? Well, I've said this before and you just didn't believe me. The, the term bucket list wasn't a thing before the bucket list film. I existed. still don't believe you, even though you probably proved it that time. I don't believe you. Yeah. It was coined. No, no, I believe you. Coined with that film, yeah. 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 Same, like as, same as The Walk of Shame. It wasn't a term before the film. They invented it. No, I'm talking <laughs> shit. See, it's believable, though. Same as Armageddon. Yeah. Shawshank Redemption, no same that. <laughs> but yeah, for me, it's Disney or Pixar, Toy Story. They've been ruined in my house because they're on all the time. They're oh, on all the time. Oh, you lucky I've, bastard. I've, Having I'm kids so around done. so you can just put cartoons on and be like, oh, it's oh, for the kids. I'm on the fucking the, the third choice fucking Disney and Pixar. All the classics have been done to the point but where But also, are. there's some absolute wank Disney and Pixar. Like, Encanto's fucking shit. Not if you're my five-year-old daughter, it's the best thing she's ever seen. But it is seen. shite. Moana's it? heavy. What, sorry? Moana. Yeah, oh, totally. Fucking belter film, that, you know. Tangled, better than Frozen. Tangled is fantastic. Yeah? That's Rapunzel, yeah. It, it, Tangled's and two Simba's are... pride. Do you know what I quite liked? That uh, Coco... I haven't seen but it, it gets sad at the end because that grandmother who looks spoiler like a raisin alert. starts dying. <laughs> By the way, that's Spoilers. not a spoiler. If you watch Coco and you're like, I can't watch this because the 128 year old Mexican woman is yeah, dead the in the end. <laughs> didn't see it coming. Didn't enjoy it. I watch The Simpsons anyway in a hangover. I don't watch films. The Simpsons. I'll just watch 50 episodes of The Simpsons back to back, which yeah. I do not hungover. And, and that well. just makes me feel. The Simpsons can do that. Do you want to? Do you want to do any? <laughs> get ready for this. I struggle. Would you want to do acting? For, uh, are we going to keep doing films? Or? Sorry, I just want to answer. He struggles to relate to a cartoon. It's not real. Yeah, I yeah. can't put me because yeah, yeah. I, when I watch a film, I'm in it. I've told you this before. Like I am the lead character in Lord of Biden Citizen. I am Gerard Butler, and I'm blowing everyone's head off. You know what I mean? <laughs> is that insane, Freddie? <laughs> yeah. That is insane. Isn't no, it? no, no. I'd go to sleep with that. 
No, 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 no. But he watches the film going, that's me, that. Yeah, that's <laughs> because... That's that's me. That's that is the when he watched most... Will Smith play Ali, he was like, yeah, that's me. That's, that's the Muhammad most on-brand thing I've ever heard for Adam. It doesn't surprise me at all. That's how normal that is. That's how you feel emotional. That's how you feel... How you can you Marley? feel emotion no, you about, like... Have you seen Marley and me? No, you don't watch films pretending you're no. the fucking lead no, character. That's, I'm not pretending. I right, am. Okay, yeah, yeah. That that is, <laughs> that's what it does... <laughs> Dan, have like, you seen Marley and me? The, the dead dog one. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Did it make you sad? <sighs> no, because you've not had dogs. You'd have said yes straight away. That's yeah. how you put yourself in the film. No, I, 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 under, I understand how empathy works, Carl. <laughs> it's not the same as going, I'm the lead character in all the films I watch, but I'm not a cartoon, so I can't watch cartoons. That does sound insane. That sounds like you're what you just said. You're the lead character. It's not how you watch a film. Like you can watch a story about someone else and go, "Wow, yeah, they're going through stuff." I can empathise with that because I've but they're not had a human experience. Time, are they? it's, I, I've seen him in other stuff. Gerard Butler's in loads of things. Yeah. So it's really if you're them. Yeah. But you've seen because I, I feel like I'm part of a real thing, and it, I can't do it with cartoons. I cried at Marley and Me. Tell... Hundred and one Dalmatians couldn't give a fuck. He was the dog in Marley and Me. Do you know what? I That's cried because so right. they kill me. You don't cry for Hundred and One Dalmatians. Marley and Me kills you. No. You don't cry for Bambi either. He just stopped drawing it. <laughs> Stop drawing the deer. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yeah. It's not. No, but like up. I mean, come on. Yeah. The first no. scene in that. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. I, I, I watched it and couldn't understand everyone's hysteria about no. it. Because he was Wife one of the balloons dies? in his head. I know, but it's a <laughs> cartoon. <laughs> he was one of the balloons. I'm uh, not really the right person. I'm the to... red balloon. <laughs> oh, I was the red balloon. I'm not going to be able to concentrate for the rest of this. <laughs> I'm I was really, up, fucking shite, I just flew away. I'm not really popped. the right person to chip in with this because I don't really feel empathy at the best of times. <laughs> we know, though. <laughs> Freddie, so we when know. I see it on like a cartoon or anything, like, I, ju I, ju I feel nothing. What when was the last thing that got you? What, if you don't feel empathy, what was the last thing, even if it's in real life, if you don't feel a lot of it, what was the last thing that really got you? The, what? Like, like ch you know, choked you up When was the last bit. time you cried? I almost cried when I thought my dog was going to die. And that was Almost. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I could I could maybe feel about I, I I so I felt like an emotion where I was like, whoa, if this gets worse quick, I might cry. Like that's as close as I got. You if you got a phone call right now <laughs> yeah. telling you your missus have been hit by a truck and was on life support. Uh-huh. Would you cry? Depends how far away the hospital was. <laughs> oh, we've got a question. London? Oh, fucking <laughs> hell. Fred, we've got a question. At this time, we get stuck in traffic. That we asked is a good one. You get a phone call. It's the middle of the summer, by the way. Okay. The weather outside is fire. Is it a World Cup year? Yeah. Like, oh, fuck. Go like, on. the weather, like, it's outside. It's like, you know, everyone's partying. I'll just like, say me goodbyes to me mum over the phone. No. You get a phone call. We've got your wife. Your, your girlfriend. We've got her here. We've kidnapped her. What, like... It's taken. A, yeah, we've got it here. It's a 15 minute drive away. <laughs> Are you playing music on the way? Oh, I'm not even going. <laughs> <laughs> also, you're asking the wrong person. Freddie doesn't listen to music ever. Oh, no, no, no. I, it's not that I don't listen to music. I think the music is overrated. So I. Music is over. <laughs> Finn? What? What are what? you talking Oh, especially Finn. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm joking. Don't you drive to music? Does it make you feel good? What's that? Really? I love. No, that. no. In fact, so I've had this conversation with uh, Rob Mulholland on our podcast. I've been talking so many times, right? Dude, um, plug, 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 plug. Um, we've done it so many times. He will listen to music and feel joy, sadness, yeah. pain, angst, yeah. every emotion. I think that's insane. I get I so much I, more out of music than I do a film or TV or but any. I any think it's as nuts, right, as me getting a nice fucking dinner in a pub and just crying. Because the fucking. <laughs> what are you Because the, the carvery's fucking. Oh, these roasties have fucking sent me. Like, it's as nuts as that. No, because you don't empathize with, uh, empathize with a roast. I don't empathize with music. No, but. It's just sound no, and songs. Calm? If you're listening to a song like, oh, his mum's dead, do 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 do, and your mum's so, uh, Who sings that? Oasis, probably. Oasis. His mum's dead, do 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 do. Write that down, Finn. We've got to get ideas together. Like, music reminds me of stuff, and I relate it to parts of my own life and other things that I've felt, and I can do that with food as well. I get sad when I have a blue ribbon because it reminds me of me now. 
Also, fuck up. also it's, it's not even... Fuck up. You don't have morning biscuits. What are you on about? No, you no, if I have, have a blue ribbon, I can smell me nan's house. I get that. Uh, yeah. You're all insane. No, you are all fucking I, I insane. Your senses don't work. What an amazing way to defend music. Yeah, you know, because blue ribbons <laughs> remind me of me nan's house. So that's music. So <laughs> the Beatles are shit. No, they're not. <laughs> Blue ribbons and my nan's house. <laughs> you don't even need the lyrics though. Some music it's meant to elicit yeah, an emotional sense, response from you. This is where you are. This is taste. look. I'm happy. You're I'm happy to inside. say. I'm happy to say that I'm a little bit odd. I'm not saying that I'm the norm. You're like Freddie Quinn. <laughs> mm. right. I'm just saying that you know I don't feel like emotion like that. I don't look at somebody else, especially people that I don't know. And for the people who like, you know, when like a, you know, when like a celebrity dies or something like that, and people are genuinely fucking upset, yeah, and they're like, oh my god, I can't believe that fucking so and so's Rob died. Williams. You're like, are you give a fuck, mate? I never met them. Do you know what I mean? No. But what if they were bollocks. important to you in your life? Did you not feel sad when Alan Rickman died? No. What? What? I was. I was. Rob, was Robin Williams. Apart. Robin Williams. We mentioned him earlier. No. I can tell you exactly where I was um, at the time when Robin Williams' death was broken. Going to sleep. Well, it on. was <laughs> in Edinburgh at the stand watching Daniel Kitson. And if you've ever been in a room surrounded by bigger fucking cunts in your life, it is the <laughs> just a bunch of people going, oh my God, well, I liked his early work. Oh, go fuck yourself, you daft cunt. Sorry. Kitson or Williams? No, uh, Rob, uh, whoever it was that was mourning somebody. Yeah, you know? okay. I just, I, I don't, look, I think that y th there's acceptable people to mourn and that is your immediate family. Friends? Friends. What happens if Rob Close died? Close friends. Rob what? like bangs his head on like an underpass and dies. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Rob Mulholland. Rob, honestly, if Rob died, I'd have a replacement for him the following week. Like, legitimately. Yeah, but you'd still I'd, be like, I'd, oh, honestly, honestly I'd, I'd text Brennan that day. <laughs> <laughs> Were you in the car with him? No, oh, no, he's responded. No, he hit yeah. him the past with his head because he's tall. Yeah. But I've told him this. I've told him this to his face. If he dies, he will be replaced instantly. I, w I wouldn't even miss an episode. But you'd be sad. No. Why? I'd be... I'd be like, I'd be like, oh, Rob's dead, and then I'd move on. Is there anybody who, in your life, except for immediate family, you, you'd be sad about if he died? Um, what happens if Adam's died? Well, you'd need a new co-host, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Get a new psycho. <laughs> so no, if Adam died, I'd, I'd be like, oh, damn. That's sadness. Have you got no idols? I'd like, probably, I'd probably, like... Mm. What about if Fer Fergie dies? <laughs> what, not, sorry? not from the Black Eyed Peas. If Fergie dies, oh. would you be upset? The Duchess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Sarah Ferguson, you'd be <laughs> gutted. Um, if he died, not really, no. Well, I'd be like, uh, and that's the, the, that's the most <laughs> I'd let myself <laughs> feel. Like, well, yeah, I, no, I just. You'd I just, be sad. If I, just, I died, you'd be like sad. Voldemort, Freddy. Alex Ferguson is dead. <laughs> I'd. I'd <laughs> <laughs> what happens if Paul Scholes died? Paul Scholes? Yeah. What happens if he died? Messages, no one has noticed. I messaged his daughter and asked to suck her toes. Oh, lad. Fuck, you went there, Paul, you weirdo. My favourite thing about that is that most people who watch this podcast won't know anything, won't know what you were talking about there. Paul Scholes, there's a no, video no, 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 no context. No, I just want people who watch this I to just think that knows. would be your immediate response. <laughs> <He's> an <laughs> an <laughs> no reason whatsoever. I think he was one of the best ever toe chewers ever. Top, Paul Scholes wouldn't get in the current Everton side. Oh, don't we rile him up. Don't rile him Is there up. nobody else who could die outside of your close family? You'd be like, oh, oh that's sad. I'd, I'd, no, look, but not even like, not, not, you got no idols, music, acting, I'd comedy. feel, I would, all right, okay. So if um, Adam or Dan died, I would feel a degree of sadness, right? <laughs> wow. Now, Ooh. now. He puts that in the car. This isn't, the, I feel now, the now of I, I can Two tell degrees. you this. Chilly. I can tell you this, and I, I mean this nicely because you're both my friends. I wouldn't cry. I would go to your funerals if it was a weekday during the day. 
<laughs> I'm, not, I'm not giving up a yeah. weekend gig for you two. Who has the least <laughs> Saturday funeral? Saturday, Saturday night funeral. Night funeral. <laughs> Prime time. Laura, Laura, just so Freddie doesn't turn up. <laughs> Saturday night, we're doing Adam. Um, <laughs> we've got a DC book. <laughs> I'd feel a degree of sadness. You both probably get a good tweet. Oh, nice. Like, you know, I'd, I'd feel sad. It's hard to keep living you with all three this excitement. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, it goes I, down. To be in, honest, in, yeah, in, I don't know. think I'd cry if any of you died. You what? I, I, I don't. If like, I related to cry, I don't think I would. I'd, I'd be very, very sad, but I don't think I'd cry because I, sh- I didn't cry when my mum died. I think you better than my mum. Suck your mum. <laughs> I'd cry I more if Freddie died than some I mean, of my immediate fair, family. If, if Carl died, I'd be like, shit, that's like, I'd feel for you. Like, I'd, I'd, I'd yeah. be like, that's a shame. If Finn died, I'd be like, oh, I know Finn. And if Steve died, I'd be like, which one's Steve? The one who's the same as you. <laughs> so if Carl Steve... died, I'd be sad. And I know his mum would be sad. But then, you know, we might have a little grief fuck. <sighs> what, is his on. girlfriend? Mama no, his mum. Oh, like right, them. okay. <laughs> is that better? I don't know. <laughs> who's your idol? Have a who's my idol? <laughs> who's your idol? <laughs> <laughs> Who is your idol? I'm moving the conversation on like I go for the I don't really a grief think I have an idol. My accountant, oh, what? Do you know my what? accountant from 2016. Do you know what? Five grand. I quite like Patrice O'Neill, but he's already dead. So, oh. so yeah, he comes back to life and then dies again. He's sad. Like Dirty Den. <laughs> <laughs> You've got no idols. Patrice O'Neill, but like I say, he's dead. No living idols, really. No, I like comedians, I guess. Like, all right, Bill Burr is an idol. Yeah, wouldn't, I wouldn't cry if he died. I, I wouldn't cry if Bill Burr died. No. I'd be upset. No, you wouldn't. I, I, I'd go, oh, that's a shame. No, you go, I uh, cry. And then just keep <laughs> scrolling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm just not like, look, there's some people who are super emotional and get really worked up about everything. But I'm more of a logic person. I'm more of a okay. What's next? Do you know what I mean? Sexy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, what, what about telly? There's like, like I watched Grey's Anatomy last night, and it got me bad. And now I'm not watching it for a week because they've pissed me off. <laughs> what? <laughs> someone you died. A in... TV program, and someone died, and you were so upset that you're giving yourself a week's abstinence. Correct. In I'm order more to likely let to cry if people die on TV shows than real life. Are you insane? No, nope, I won't say who it is, but he's just died. And it pissed it pissed me off. I was that upset that I'm not watching it for a week. Yeah, I, don't I think, get it. Don't think Freddie. No, not I, at they, all. They don't deserve me to look back. Like they've pissed. Like it's no. No. To be fair, I don't really watch an awful lot of TV because I feel like, especially with box sets nowadays, I feel like I, I don't know what to commit to. Do you know what I mean? Like if you like if you think about should I watch something, you think Fuck, that's like so two what, days of my what life. Do you do? I you watch. He just pretends to snipe at women I, and children. <laughs> yeah, I get a lot of early nights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make my own film where I'm the murderer. <laughs> it does work. Cut you off. <laughs> what do you do? Mm. Um. <laughs> I wank about four times a day. I think that's probably uh, it. Wow. Do you? Uh, Maybe not always four, but I wank regularly. That's I like to, quite often what I do is I pre-wank. No, pre-wank's not the right word. So what like, I do. Like pre- what, you like warm yourself up, like is, cooking the meat no, no, for no. your roast what the I night do before. Is, right, you've got to, you, you can't leave me fucking hanging with this, I swear to God. What's Sometimes pre-wank? you wake up in the morning and you're like, look, I don't feel like, I don't feel horny per se, but I'm going to have a wank. Because if I don't, then it'll just be on my mind all day. And I've got <laughs> shit to do. Oh my no, you god. haven't. You don't do anything. Oh, my God. Is that not a thing? That's like a tactical wank. Yeah, tactical wank. That exists. Which have which, Yeah, but it's usually for a date, not just a day of admin and not listening to music. <laughs> no one else does that. Wakes up. And I don't no one else. No one else is like, I'm going to have a wank because I've got a busy day. I've got shit to do. It tires you out. What? Not make you tires? Yeah, it makes me lethargic. I'm going to no, not in the morning. I can't start your day off, but I'm I'm horny every time I wake up. <laughs> You're horny every time you wake Honestly, up. Honestly, he's had some naps on that couch that get pretty weird <laughs> just afterwards. Adam, we need to start re-recording. Yeah, just fucking cracking one out. No, I, that's honestly four times a day. Sometimes. Not every day. No. Right. What's your average? What's your batting average? Two a day. 
At least, yeah, yeah. Oh my god! Every day, I'm, I'm getting bested here. Most days, mad. I, I'm a, I'm a I, I used person. to be a twice a day man. I'm not. I'm more but like one every three this days. This is how man. I know. You know when like Me Too was happening. This is how I knew that I'd never fucking done anything. Cause it's like bleeding a radiator, isn't it? <laughs> The minute, you know the, the I minute that I feel too dizzy, I, 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 I have a little wank and then it bleeds the radiator and I fucking calm myself. I knew I'd never done so anything because I've never done anything. So <laughs> many sex crimes would be avoided if men just wanked more. You know what? That's not a hill I want to die on. Actually, I, 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 I renounce what I've just said. I renounce it. That's not true at all. What I mean is, is that some blokes need to, you know, yeah. if you wank a lot, it regulates you. Yeah, the guys who are like, I've slept with someone. You're like, come on, mate. Like, did you crack one out and then need to have an affair? Or was it just a physical, There's Maybe totally. you've fallen in love. Maybe you're not happy in your relationship, fair enough. But I think sometimes a tactical crack out yes. could make a, could save a lot Post of mortgages. Clarity. Marriages. Tactical right. crack. I, mortgage, I don't think a trip to Poland's going to help anyone. Um, but I agree with you in the, especially, I think you've said it in a Sorry. better way than I've said it. In that, like, if you're somebody who, like, chases fucking Pussy. porn. Yeah. If you chase puss constantly, <laughs> have a wank a bit more. It's just easier. Yeah. Dan Bill's it. Any of it. Fucking <laughs> live it. It's not going to have four wanks a day. What yeah. about, have you ever just for the, in, this, in, in the name of science, seen, because there's, there's the the whole incel thing and... There's a there's a really weird movement now, isn't there? Where you're like, that's your sort of life force. You see it. You see some crazy social media stuff about. Yeah, you don't masturbate because that's your life force as a man, and you're draining it from yourself. Keep it up, stock it up. Have you ever? What like for Manny, this, for, like how Manny Pacquiao doesn't like bloodletting before a fight because yeah, he thinks it's going to. Have you ever? Him. Have you ever just if you if you're on a two to four day average? <laughs> yeah. Have you ever for the just to see what happens <laughs> gone like a week? Uh, so. I've never gone a week. I've gone about five days before. What was happening on day oh, five? It was, just it was like, it, oh, it came out. It was like fucking churned butter. It was horrible. Oh, no, please. Oh, God. <laughs> God. Space off a But did you feel alive? You're sorry? Did you feel like... I felt like a weight had been lifted. Literally? Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, the weight of your bollocks is... Well, I've always said, just take the weight off them. You know, it's a lovely, it's a lovely thing to do. I was going for a wee before, old as cock, old as bollocks instead. You'd appreciate that. How big are your balls? Big enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Respect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've got big enough bollocks. Yeah. Why That's... do I keep agreeing to come on this? <laughs> I feel like every time I come on, I say something ridiculous. You come on and said you I feel like you Louis Theroux me every fucking time <laughs> no, I come on don't. here. What we do is we ask you very basic questions. <laughs> like, like... How, how do you get to sleep at night, Freddy? <laughs> I just, I just present them murdering women and children. <laughs> oh, you've got me again. You've got me saying stuff again. You should always chicken me. Yeah. Next question. <laughs> should we talk about wanking? It's a bit like me too. No, it's not. That was a separate thing. <laughs> Surely porn's empathy though, because you look at the man going, that must feel good. Gives you an erection. Surely like, porn what? You're empathising for the man. Well, right. I got offered to do porn about a week ago. So I wonder who by. Uh, so by uh, legendary porn producer Dick Bush, who was on. <laughs> <laughs> oh That's... shit! Oh, Dicky Bush! Oh, of course. Yeah, we had him Isn't as a he a cricketer. We had him as a guest on Dead Men Talking, and he <laughs> Do you is mean Dicky Bird, the old umpire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's making porn as well. He so yeah. so so Dick Bush is a porn <laughs> producer for Brazzers, and so Dick is kind of like. <laughs> Uh, What's what, Dick like, Freddie? So, so what Dick, <laughs> what Dick did with porn is kind of like what you guys did with podcasting, in that he kind of raised the game, put fucking dead good cameras in there, and made everything 4K. So it's kind of like the have a and word. And he's asked of, you to go on, yeah, so just like us. We had him on Dead Men. <laughs> we had him on Dead Men Talking, right? And <laughs> one of the things that I mentioned is that I'd always like to be in porn, but not like fuck anyone. Because I just, I don't think I could. Do you know you I mean? want them to fuck you? No. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a four wanker day, man. There's nothing left. Uh, just... are, you the, are you the pizza guy? Hey, I've got a pizza. Quite, oh, you're fucking. Quite literally, yeah. right? So, they. <laughs> what they... What porn is there a pizza guy that comes in? Sorry, sorry to interrupt, <laughs> but this wasn't paid for on card. <laughs> And I am going to have to come back in about 20 minutes because I forgot your honey and mustard dip. 
Sorry. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> that famous pizza scene. Oh, I've got your pizza. Oh, you're fucking. I'll just pop it there before you finish. That's defo. <laughs> 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 Big what an unnecessary porn extra. <laughs> I've come to fix you. Oh, shit. You're having sex already. I'm a useless plumber here. I can't. All right, see you later. So, uh, he, I got asked to be an evil villain in some porn, right? Oh, God. Which I think is, again, it's on brand, isn't it, for How me? How long is this porn that you can become a villain? So... <laughs> Uh, a lot of backstory. Th th they wanted me for three <laughs> days over shooting in the end of the end of January, and it was down in Essex Way. And because of the dates, I just couldn't make it work make around it gigs work. and stuff. What do you mean? Well, yeah, make it work. I, I couldn't. I physically couldn't because I, I it literally it was like Friday, Saturday, and Thursday. And I think, and I just have to cancel he's a got full a funeral weekend of gigs. on the Saturday. <laughs> 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 it's got a double, two funerals, one night. You know. uh, yeah, I just, I, I couldn't make it work. But otherwise, I would have fucking loved to have done it. Like, I, I who would wouldn't? Watch. I don't think I could do porn and not be actually involved. You know what I mean? Like, well, I maybe you like could I'm just empathise with the lead fucking shagger. No, if I'm watching it, yeah. But like, if I was there, I'd be like, get out the way, lad, I'll share how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get the supervillain off the set, please? He's done. <laughs> come here, girl. <laughs> with consent, obviously. You're not like, you just get out the way, and I come. Fucking put the pizza on the side. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Oh my God, is that Adam Rowe? He knows how to do this better. <laughs> Come on, babe. Yeah. Is that how it go in your head? Mm. Yeah, all right, cool. Why don't we all, can we all... What? I, just, I feel like that's a bit of a... You're what? a comedian and podcaster. Uh -huh. I know it didn't work timings-wise. I feel like you've missed out there. Oh, producing? mate, I'd, I'd, love, I'd love to uh, do it, but I feel like, I mean, they shoot porn all the time. I feel like I'll have another opportunity. I want local porn. <laughs> Preston porn. Oh, no. Can we do it? X, have a weird dead man, make a porno. Yeah, I'd fucking defo do that. Yeah. Well, I mean, we, we know Rebecca Goodwin, so we got a porn star in the making. Who, who no, she? let's get a good one. I'm oh. joking, I'm joking. I'm who messing about messing over? Who, who's, our, who's our representative? It, what, what? Finn. 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 Finn's our representative. I'm not sure Finn still be working with us. He's got that look no in his tribunals, eyes. No tribunals, yeah? No tribunals. Correct. Finn, fuck the woman or leave. <laughs> <laughs> Pay you off. <laughs> Pay you overtime. Let's have a break. I think I need it. All right, guys. Now it's time to talk to you about one of our sponsors, NordVPN. NordVPN is the world's best VPN service, in my opinion. Dan, do you know what a VPN is? Yeah, of course I know what a VPN is. Well, I don't. <laughs> oh, hello. I'm gone. My mouth wasn't moving. It's Peter, the have a weird snake. Hello. Hey, <laughs> Peter, you don't know what... A VPN is. Peter, oh. listen to me. Peter, listen. Look at me, lad. Right yeah. here. Right here. Yeah? Right here. A VPN is basically a way for you to improve your internet security. And also, you can change the location of where you are based. So let's say you're in the UK, but there's a film on, like, the American Netflix. You can set your location to America, log into Netflix, and it'll think you're in America. What? Isn't that amazing? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> also, <laughs> for example, like some Premier League football matches aren't broadcast over here, but they are broadcast in other countries. You can watch them. Just find out what country it's being shown in and set your location to that country. Thank you for educating me, Adam. Do you know what? What about if I want to watch foreign porn? <laughs> if you want to watch foreign porn, I mean, I don't know why that would be blocked in any country, but yeah, you can set your location to anywhere and access any website. If you go to nordvpn.com slash have a word and use the code have a word, you'll get a huge discount and four months free. Isn't that right, Dan? Yeah, nordvpn.com slash have a word. Use code have Peter. Use code word have a word. 10, have a word. <laughs> no, no, Peter. No, Peter. Concentrate. Use code have a word. Have a word. Huge Stupid discount snake. and four months free. Fuck off. <laughs> Nord. <laughs> we have some correspondence. You had a puff in the break, didn't you? I had a puff in the break. I could see it on the floor. There was loads of smoke on the floor because yeah, you're yeah, yeah. puffing a vape. You thought the camera was on fire. Is this like, are you not allowed to vape or something? Is I this... don't know. I just it's got... just fucking stupid. It's so my 41 year old man who started vaping. I. He hasn't, he's not using it to get over smoking. He's just began vaping. I'm using it to get into vape. vaping. So I've actually just started vaping myself, but oh. weed yeah, but you're only. trying to get off your but crack But only habits. weed. I don't, I don't vape the stupid little fucking 
you know, this smells like fucking yeah, cinnamon. He's having or whatever. strawberry gimp. Yeah, that's weird. That's... No, I've got ketamine in this. Oh, Good. that's fine. That's absolutely fine. I'm going to get it Have off you it, seen though. that they're using ketamine to get alcoholics off the old woo wagon? Off the woo woo wagon. <laughs> on the wagon. <laughs> on the wagon. Get off the wagon. Get off the wagon. <laughs> get on the woo wagon. Is that what they're doing? Yeah, they're using ketamine to treat alcoholism. They also use it to, like, I didn't know this, but my mate's kid broke his arm. Yeah. And they didn't mm -hmm. want to put him under fully. So they give him loads of ketamine and basically put him in a K-hole to put his arm back together. Yeah. And he came out of it, he was like, Mommy, I had really weird dreams. You're like, you got fucked up for free, kid. That's what happened. Do you do it with arses, don't you, as well? Yeah. Doesn't but I mean, I've, I, I, that's the thing, isn't it? Ketamine's a tranquilizer that's usually for been horses. using horses. I, I didn't know kids were getting put in a K-hole to I, fix arms. <laughs> I did a gig on Ket once. I, uh, I did a festival at Antwerp Mansion in Manchester. You know that fucking shithole in Levenshoom? Yeah. You yeah. know? Yeah. Um, and it was like an all-day festival, and they insisted that we all get there for 12, even though we were on at like 8 o'clock. And I was like, I'm going to be fucking off my tits. And they were like, oh, well, you can enjoy yourself. And then um, Katie Truelove, remember her? Yes, I do. She was, uh, she was, she'd been in Glastonbury the week before. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, pray do tell, Dan. <laughs> good she, act. Good she, act. She'd, been at good act. she'd been at Glastonbury nice the, week, girl. the week before, and she was like, oh, I found some MDMA uh, that was on the floor <laughs> in Glastonbury. Keep going. And I, um, I had some, and it was cat, and I uh, crashed and fell asleep on this crappy old sofa. And then somebody started waking me up and slapping me. It was like, you're on stage now. And then I did 20 minutes. I can't even fucking remember it. You did two, but it felt like 20. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Good, sorry, though. Dan. So vaping, eh? What am I like? <laughs> Bloody hell. Uh, I'll take the banter. <laughs> vaping. Anyway. <laughs> got some correspondence. Uh, yeah. Freddie, you you mentioned in the break that there's something with the, your Discord chat. Oh. Oh, oh sorry. Mmm. So, so. <laughs> smooth. Hang on. I'll, I'll get it in. Freddie. Uh, what happened in your Discord last week? Well, it's funny you should mention. Uh, so we've got a Discord. Freddie, you know, sorry, you can guys. I stop you? you got a Discord? We have got a Discord right, for cool, cool, uh, Dead cool. Men Talking. The, the, uh, the podcast. podcast. Yeah, I try not to The spin-off podcast. Yes. You're yeah, like yeah, yeah. Joey. Go on. Yeah. Um, What's so, the spin-off from? Um, this? <laughs> pretty much. No, you are not like us. You are vile. No. Oh, yeah, that is, that, that is true. But it spun <laughs> off from the roast, didn't it? So oh, right, off the fuck. back of the road, if, if we hadn't have done that. <laughs> fucking eggy. You are not like this. You are vile. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, but it is a spin-off. I'll give you that. I mean, I mean, to be fair, you are right. It's this... fucking quality, though. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not saying it's not good. It's fantastic, but it's... Check out Dead Men Talking. It's yeah. fucking great. Thanks, guys. We're also going on tour this year in May. Deadmentalkpod.com. Uh, so on our Discord, uh, somebody came into our Discord. You, right. Let me rephrase this. Do you ever worry a little bit about what fan base you might be curating? <laughs> yeah, every day. So no. we had we had a thing on our Discord, and I can't mention too much about this, but a guy came in completely unannounced to do an impromptu Q&A, and he was currently on trial for aggravated GBH and attempted murder. And he put up some pictures of weapons and the aftermath of using said weapons and he invited us all to come down and support him on his court date. Oh. And you're going. Oh my fuck what? Outside what? with like free Deirdre Barlow t shirts. No, fuck that shit. Awesome. That was a really good story now in Corrie though. <laughs> the free Deirdre, the Deirdre Barlow. No, she's remember? Rashid, then. Yeah, Can she... we talk about Katie True Love? <laughs> <laughs> Freddie, you what? need to go and make content. Not in the car because you're not allowed. But come on. What's his name? Uh, we're not. I'm not allowed to mention anything. Paul Bottle. It's Paul Bottle. He's <laughs> aggravated with all man's thoughts. He's gone yeah. up in the world. Him. It's not that Paul Bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly. Yeah. He, I, that, he does get that a lot now. I actually um, almost did a Good Morning Britain uh, episode with Paul Burrell literally last month. Why? They wanted me to go on and discuss with Paul Burrell about when was too early to turn your Christmas lights on. What's going on with you and Good Morning Britain? <laughs> Freddie, I'm not, I'm not being funny. Like, I, I'm so glad you're getting success. I'm really glad Dead Men Talk. It's not success. It's but not why success. do you keep turning up on ITV? Because we got rid of Piers Morgan and they were like, we need another cunt to everyone eats. So, so what Freddie producer's Greg? gone? Hang on, Christmas lights. 
Someone ring Freddie Quinn and Paul <laughs> Bull. <laughs> so, honestly, they they get me on for the most random fucking things, and I am convinced that they have no idea about my back catalogue as a comic no, because they otherwise don't. they wouldn't come anywhere near me. But they started off asking me to discuss about whether or not actors should be allowed to wear fat suits for certain roles. That's and great. I did it with like a fat activist who was just so fucking hard work. I can say fat then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she was so well, to be fucking fair, hard work. To be fair, there's never, there's, there's never been any thin fat activists, has there? <laughs> Like, like, there's never any thin people that are just like, I just want more fat solidarity. Like, it's always bigger people. But it was that... also great because you got to go, I'm obese. Yeah, like, you literally got, you, they couldn't. I mean, I didn't use the word obese. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no, up. But... What did you say? Yeah, you no, did. but a you... doctor would, wouldn't he? <laughs> no, Freddie, on that, I watched that interview. You oh, lit- I might have done actually. You literally went, I'm, a... they, they couldn't, it was beautiful because you got to poke the, yeah, fat bear. But you, you, you got to go. Listen, this. No one watching it could go. Well, this is bullying because you got to go. So I'm fat. Well, I you. actually, as well, I had a killer line lined up for it. So she was a she, a big black lady who was doing it right, and she was like, "Only." I fat. hope race is relevant in the story. She was like, <laughs> <laughs> definitely not. She was like, <laughs> she, she was like, but her thing was. Uh, only fat people should be allowed to do the voice. Wear fat roles, right? <laughs> um, only fat people. Uh, and my thing was going to be, right? Uh, what do you think about having a black James Bond? Because I'm all for it personally, and I bet she's all for it. But James James Bond isn't black, right. so right. you can't have one there? and not the other. Where's the comparison there? Pardon? I don't see where the analogy like comparison is. Because one of Freddy's because because sense. because because if you're if you're a if if you're saying that a thin person can wear a fat suit to play a role because they're not, if you're saying only fat people. Yeah, but isn't the analogy black enough then? What or sorry? White enough? No, no, no. Because because if you're saying only fat people should play fat roles and only then, then surely only white people should play white roles, only black people should play black roles, only this should play this, <laughs> only that should play that. It's like when everyone kicked off because they had a, a black Anne Boleyn. It's like who gives oh, a that flying was everywhere, fuck? Though. I couldn't. Fucking... Who cares? I think there's a pretty much a consensus that only black people should play black yeah. characters. Oh yeah, now. yeah, yeah. That's now. that's not open. <laughs> uh, I think. <laughs> I think Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> might have put that one to bed. I don't yeah. know about that. You know, I've got an audition next week to play Kunta Kinte. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that that's... is an ASMR I'd listen to. Adam <laughs> playing a black person trying to get me to sleep. I'm in. But that was going to be my thing, is that if you're only letting people play, you, you know, then you're pigeonholing everybody. And I just want to see, I want to see who the best actor is. And I also want to see different actors playing in different worlds, right? Like, there's, you want to so see there's, them bringing different there's, things. There's a little bit of a difference, isn't there? Because a, white, a thin person... <laughs> if, right, hang on, let's get this right. Yeah. A thin person in a fat suit is pretending to be a fat person. Yeah. If there's a black James Bond, the character's black, it's not It's not a black person <laughs> whiting up. Uh, exactly, right, that's okay. what I mean. Right. Okay, no, I'm with you, actually. Okay, that does yeah, make yeah, sense. Yeah. Well, it's a good job I didn't bring that up then, isn't it? No, you absolutely smashed <laughs> it. It was great. She, and she wasn't an... She wasn't a total dick or anything. She was making her point, but it was nice to see you. That it was a very satisfying. So you'd got you'd been brought on as the sort of fat expert, the bad the bad guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 this fat. guy doesn't give a fuck about anyone. But you won with logic. It was it was a really and then off the off the <laughs> back of that, I was invited back to go and talk about um, uh, Roman Kemp not being able to use his washing machine. Um, <laughs> the two. It was, it, it was a talk about whether or not millennials lack life skills, right? Absolutely, we do. So anyway, they, they, they rung me at five o'clock and it was summer and it was fucking roasting and I was already like four cans in, right? And they said... You need to be at the studio. What I can't believe I can't believe I'm fucking grassing myself up for this story. They said you need to be at the studio for six o'clock the following morning. You need to drive down uh, in the morning. So I would have had to set off at two o'clock in the morning. And so I what thought, what time do they need you there? Six a.m. Oh. So I was like, shit. Okay, well, I, I hatched a plan, and my plan was: I'm already four cans in. If I have a bottle of wine. 
I'll be able to get to sleep for about eight o'clock, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, six hours, drive down. That's how we'll do it, right? <laughs> so I had myself a bottle of wine and then after that, I was pissed. And so I was on the fucking whiskey and stuff. And I got to sleep at about 11. But I was like, it'll be fine. He's sniping people in there. I, I woke up. Yeah, but the shots were everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. I didn't mean to kill that one. Um, <laughs> Even I, in his own fancy, missus. I woke up <laughs> at 2 it's o'clock in the morning. Shooting. And I immediately was like, oh, I'm still shit-faced. There's no way I can make this four-hour drive. You didn't drive. drive. What? You didn't? No. Do no. So you luckily, they give you a 24 hour emergency thing. So I rung up and I was like, hello. I was like, I am awfully sorry and very embarrassed, but I've gone to set off for this thing that I absolutely was going to go to. And I've got a flat tire. And so it's I 2 a.m. Yeah. And they went, oh, well, we might be able to send a car. And I was like, oh, fuck off. And so I was like, okay. And they went, well, we'll give you a call back in 10 minutes. I was like, fine. So waited up for 10 minutes. Phone call comes back. They said, we can't send a car. You'll have to do it via Zoom, which is what I did last time. It's a piece of piss. You just open your laptop up. They went, but they went, it's quite funny how you uh, couldn't change a tire. And we're talking about millennials' life skills. I was like, yeah, uh, how, how ironic. Can't and they went, tire bladdered. Well, they went, <laughs> they went, they went, we'll use it in the debate. And I was like, oh, shit. And they went, can you send us a picture of your car? And I went, oh, <laughs> fuck. So I went... Did you have to go and slash it on tire? So I went, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way Freddie would slash a perfect... You're way too tight to put a fucking knife Google in a tire. No way. <laughs> so I, I was like, look, I, I was panicking a bit now because I was like, shit. I went, look, listen. I said, it's two o'clock in the morning. It's dark outside. I'll send you a picture in the morning thinking they'll just forget. Anyway, <laughs> seven o'clock comes round. You know, I'm up. I'm ready to do the thing. They went, oh, don't forget to send us a, a picture of your tire. I was like, fuck. So I Googled flat tire Good. On, on Google, right? And I went to about page six and I picked a flat tire and then I zoomed in and cropped it on like a fucking photo editing app. And then I, I put a little filter on it. So I was like, they can't Google reverse image search it. And then I sent them that. And then that was the story that they fucking led. That was Nina Maiskow shouting at me, going, oh, I can't believe you can't change a tire. And I was like, oh, I know. What am I like? Hung over as fuck. Who can change? I can't change a tire. I don't need to. Well, this is it. This is it. Well, she said, right. So here's the thing. She was like, millennials like life skills. And I said, no, they just have different skills. I said, everybody who is in their 20s knows how to set up a mobile hotspot, like, on their phone. I was like, I bet you have no idea. And she was like, you're ageist, blah, blah, blah. And then that was the end of that. I'm ageist? sorry, what? <laughs> She'd gone on to slag off millennials. Yeah. You literally reversed the, and she called you an ageist. Yeah, I don't know if you're familiar with Nina Maiskow's work. Is she but in that is, bed? Yeah, pretty all much. Right, right, I do She's laugh. a thick cunt. Um, <laughs> with two Cs or a K? I don't know who she is. So, <laughs> and then, and then off the back of that, I ended up going down to the studio for the next one, and I discussed whether or not you should ever be able to take the piss out of people's accents with uh, someone from Married at First Sight. How did I get offered that job? <laughs> yeah, you did as well, Al Pacino. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's and just basically once every three months they'll message me with some absolutely fucking random shit. Do you know what I mean? Oh, fucking! They want you to discuss whether or not you should pick up dog shit with Wilf from the Traitors, and I'm like, yeah, fine. Freddie, you're fuck good it. on it, but what's the? Why are you doing it? Is uh, there a fee? Uh, yes, there's a fee. Oh, okay, cool. So you five grand to go. <laughs> five grand. You so me. so you get you you get paid for it. Uh, but also as well, it's kind of going at the studio and stuff. It's kind of a like the novelty hasn't worn off for me yet. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> the novelty. <laughs> it is a novelty. Good morning, Dead Men Talking host and Good Morning Britain. Do you yeah. do you lack life skills though? Because I definitely do. What? Well, what life rather, if someone's in, if something in my house needs doing, I'll just ring the handyman who can do it. What What life skills do you lack? I couldn't change a tire. You could you hang a TV on a wall? Yes. I could probably do that because I've seen it enough, maybe. And that's oh, my stuff. God. When you trust yourself, 
You trust your skills no, I'm trusting the to put a 600 pound, 800 pound telly, whatever you, that's where I, I'd be like, maybe I could try and stick a picture up with, I'm, I'm shit with drills. No, I put I it trust on myself with drills. Like, do what you, Laura sorry. doesn't trust me with the furniture. She maybe makes it. I could try and stick a picture up. I can't drill. I fuck drill. You don't even need to with pictures. You can get sticky little fucking they don't work. hangers and stuff. Yeah. They do most of the times they do. Like these, all could you all change? The could you change an oil filter? I don't even know where an oil filter is. Right. Because that's in your the car, thing. isn't it? I'll take it to on the a chip pan. <laughs> yeah, change the oil filter on a chip pan. <laughs> <laughs> they hate me at my local garage when I take my chip pan in. <laughs> like, it's, it's not what we're for. They do it anyway. I think they overcharge me. Yeah. I can't do anything because other people can. And I, I mean, I'm in a very privileged position that I'm, I'm paid <laughs> to do it. But I, don't, like, I can't do anything. <laughs> I service my washing machine. It, 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 and, like, didn't service it. <laughs> I basically just it? took the filter thing off, cleared it out, put it back on, and phoned Laura to tell her how well, I told her how well I'd done. Yeah, That's me. how much of an idiot I am with life skills. That was like, you've done it, Dan. You've d it's, I'm so bad at this stuff. I when I even get I've lived in my flat for a year, and last week I figured out how to make my washer dryer do both jobs at the same time. Yeah. yeah. And he still wears clothes. Take what? I, t I, I was made up last night that I remembered it was bin day because it's changed because of the fucking old I love my bin shoes. It's fucking great. It feels like a game. He used to just throw shit down it whenever he wants. Well, well, I live on the 14th floor. I, DIY I can't do because I don't want to do it myself. You do it. Yeah, but like, surely, like, <laughs> you do. if there was a, All right, do what it do you think? Let's do it, you. What do you think <laughs> is the most basic bit of DIY that you could do, Carl? So Give let's me say, one, I'll say yes or no. Let's say, okay, fifty grand was on offer here if you could do it successfully to a passable standard. Doesn't have to be amazing. Well, that's not real. Just ask me if I could do it or not. Okay, you, you got a motivation because I'll do anything for fifty grand. Okay, so could you um, <laughs> assemble a IKEA bed frame? Yeah. I assembled an yeah, okay. IKEA bar unit thing the other day, like and two or three days that's ago. That's not DIY, though. I mean, it's no. not far off DIY, really. It's, it's in, not well, DIY. It is, all flat pack furniture is DIY because you're doing it yourself. Yeah, but, sort <laughs> of. Uh, sort I of. nearly threw myself off the roof, and I've built this exact unit before because it's out there. We've got something that we had in the original studio in Runcorn out there, a Fiablo yeah, bar yeah. unit. I got one of them for me flat, and honestly, I wanted to kill myself and everyone I know and love. <laughs> Don't do that. Go on, keep going. I could do could that because that's not the I, that's not. Uh, that is a basic life skill, but I feel like everyone could fake that. Okay, could you? Um, you said you couldn't affix a TV to a wall. Could you bleed a radiator? Don't need. To. I don't even know what that is. No, hang on, that's I've not just the game. Men older than me talk. I, no, I, no, I can't. <laughs> the game, the game isn't. No, just ask me if I can. I can't. Don't need to. Next one. Like no. It, is yeah. that, was that when you turn the thing and it goes? Wee! <laughs> 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 sorry, sorry, do that again. For me. <laughs> is that with the what? Uh, what? What? Are you, what are the well, even a radiator is just like Bobby Charlton for me. My granddad mentioned it once, and I've never really looked into what it. What I do for years ago, a bit cold in here, turn the heating on, the radiator comes on, and then when I go, a bit hot, I turn it off again. But if it starts making tapping sounds, I'll ring the plumber. Right, if it starts see, making tapping sounds, you to, know what I do? I turn it off, I never turn it on again. <laughs> if you, like, so bleed it's a radio, broke, how much does that key cost? Four quid, three quid. Yeah. And you just put a little thing. That's, I can do that. Because if you call a plumber to bleed a radio, <laughs> you're paying the call out charge for him to be like, you're a fucking moron. Yeah, I, honestly, it's more embarrassing no, it's to not. have to be in the same room as somebody who just does that. It, it is, because I don't know how easy it is, because I don't watch him do it. So I just go, that's the one that's fucked, lad. And then I just go and have a wank or a shit. Do you know what? I <laughs> <laughs> Go on, then. How long are going to be? Two minutes? Uh, wank. Do you know what? I feel embarrassed. So I've got a, uh, I've got a cleaner, right? <laughs> that comes around once a week yeah, and we all cleans. <laughs> yeah. But I feel embarrassed when she comes in and it's dirty. No, you like, you know when you she comes in so and she judges yeah. you no, and I've she's stopped. like, you I've mucky stopped. cunt. I'm not doing it. I, I honestly, I'm paying her for the reason. I used to be yeah. exactly the same, and I've just got an attitude with it now. Do you know we did the Christmas Day thing in mine, and all the like uh, dishes and stuff I took back to my flat from the room we did it in. I just left them on the side, and I texted them. I was like, "Do you want an extra day tomorrow?" She was like, "Yeah." I went, "The old place is fucked." I let it in. <laughs> <laughs> I let it in, and I just went out. Going for the the shit. old place is we fucked. We wish you a merry Christmas. I just went out. I was just like, "Yeah, you sort it." Ta-da. 
Yeah, since we've had a cleaner, they come once a month, uh, once a week, sorry, on a Monday. Yeah. Our house is so much cleaner. It's great, isn't it? But it's not just because of the cleaner. It's because Laura guilt cleans. Yeah. No, don't she do it. Fit, no, it's a working class guilt thing of like, oh. I, had, I do a pre-tidy. I make sure there isn't like underwear on the floor, but I won't clean. I had a argument with my other half ones. Because we, well, we do it every time we stay he in there. He messes a, it up. I do, yeah. I mess it up more. Every this time. Money's worth. <laughs> every time we stay in an Airbnb, at the end of the stay, she'll clean up. And I'm like, we pay a cleaning fee. What the fuck clean are you Clean or doing? tidy. What, sorry? Clean or tidy. What is the difference? Well, tidy is well, a Well, there is definitely a difference. Okay. Clean is like on your hands and knees with marigolds on, spraying the skate. If she tie these up like she folds the bed, I don't get that. That's just normal. wiping down the sink is cleaning, isn't it? Yeah. Oh right, okay. She tidies them, which that's, I still think is not insane. That no, I don't. Yeah, tidy. it's a bit. It's showing a bit of respect for the people you're getting it from. You pay a cleaning fee. We're not we're showing a bit of respect for them. I'm with Freddie, but if the I'm cleaning fee. It, I'm not doing exactly. It. The cleaning fee includes tidying. I tell you what, give me fifty percent of that fucking fee back, and I'll I'll tidy yeah. up a bit. If not, you do it your fucking self. I'll leave crisp on the floor. I'll stand on them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put chocolate up the walls. <laughs> no, see that's cleaning. Isn't it? Do you know what though? Is if a cleaner came in and so loads of chocolate up the wall, they wouldn't go. That's chocolate, <laughs> would yeah. they? Oh, hang on. <laughs> Nestle. <laughs> Dirty like, bugger. This fucking lad has just smeared what's this on the floor and smeared his shit up the wall. But to be fair, Barbara, he has paid a cleaning fee. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, he's making work. Job creation. <laughs> Good on him. It's contributing to the economy. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. What else? That's what else I can't do. Hang on, I've got one for you. Because on. I went to Halfords and had my uh, light bulb changed on the front of my car. And I did that thing where you go in and you're like, which, you find out which one it is and then have to check with someone that works there. And they're like, yeah, cool. If you just go and wait outside, we'll come and fit it for you for an extra 20 quid. I was, at the time, 36, 37 years old. A 22-year-old girl came out yeah, and but fitted it for yeah, me. because she knows and you don't. Yeah, and I, I had that moment of like, Dan, sort yourself out. You're gonna, no, yeah. you don't need to know it. You don't work at Halfords. No, guess what? I didn't do it and I still don't know how to change light bulbs. I'm not touching my car. I just car. felt ashamed. I'll just take it to the garage because they know what to do it. If I break it, because it's probably works. When a idiot. light bulb goes, though, I don't know how to do it. Yeah. Okay. Good. That. But that's the difference. The. These are. There's some things with cars. You're not. You're not like fucking change the cam belt. We get it. <laughs> but do you not a, feel a one bulb? <laughs> that's actually the one thing I know how to do. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> do you, do you not feel embarrassed? Got a flat tire. No. Is it the Can't. cam belt? No. So the embarrassment shouldn't come from you don't know how to do it. That's fair enough. If you don't know, you don't know. However, you're what nearly thirty. You should have. Thick, you should have got this knowledge by now. No, That's I, where the embarrassment why? comes from. My house alarm the other day was beeping. It was going doo doo every like. Remember, it kept beeping in my house, and I, I rang the fella. I'm like, "Hey, this is doing me head in," and he told me how to do it over the phone. I couldn't do it, so I went, "Can you come and do it?" He came out and did it, and then apologized for charging me forty quid because I have got to charge you forty. Sorry, quid. Like, it's cool. I don't know how to do it. You, so he gave you the instructions over the phone. Yeah, I couldn't do it. And then he ended up having to charge you forty quid to come to your house to do what he told you to do over the phone. I couldn't do it because I'm not a fucking alarm technician. But I set my fire alarm off making pork, um, belly pork a couple of weeks ago, and I just had to run out my flat and run downstairs and get the man. <laughs> Dad, there's always a man, and I'm not the man, and I'm fine with that. I'm yeah. not, I'm, my, I've got I'm, no insecurity about no, it at I'm all. Not insecure. I'm not embarrassed. There's somebody who can do it better than me. I won't mess it up. Oh, you learn by your mistakes. I could have broke the alarm. Sick grand, that lad. No, 40 quid to make sure it's done right. <laughs> no, I know, but I think that you have <laughs> I to... I can't do it. Ah! I think that down. you have to show that you attempt... You I did reasonably attempt. attempted I did, it. And I couldn't do I it. I don't think you gave enough reasonable attempts. You don't did know you, that, though. That's could you be you're honest put, and say you gave your best effort? You're the on twin. Fucking leave him alone. You're, on on the, a, you're the cunt who doesn't believe I was himself. stood on a chair trying to change the sensor, and I couldn't. I was like, I'm going to break this. And he's going to go, well, that sensor is a million pounds now. And I got no. I rang up. Yeah, it is a problem it. with having million pound sensors, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> if I had million pound sensors, I might ask someone. If we all did it ourselves, what are those million jobs? pound sensors sensing that's worth more than them? Movement. Fear. <laughs> I'm just saying, you don't have to be able to do everything, and don't feel insecure if you can't. Yeah. Someone can help you. No, I think you should feel guilty. Why? I think if you don't know how to do basic things, you should feel bad. Why? Because you should know how to do basic things. Why? Because you should. You just should. It's like it's like basically 
it in my head, it's like you not knowing how to wipe your own ass and having a man for it. I would. I have got a man for it. I've literally got a man for it. I've got a new toilet seat who wipes my ass for me. My toilet seat does clean. Not quite literally. You know when you say literally. It's a different life when you've got eighteen thousand patrons, isn't it? It's a different Uh, fucking life. I just don't want to do it wrong and end up paying more. Do you know what I mean? I'll break it. It's awesome. (laughs) Yeah. I'll I'll do it wrong. Go on. I, what else? I couldn't put a shelf on the wall because I'd pull the wall down. What do you mean you pull the wall down? <laughs> I, th- I do. I drill through a wire, which should like set some kind of fire on. I, I bear me out. I, you drill. You drill through yeah. the wall that set some sort of fire off. Yeah, yeah. there'd be an electric wire behind there. You go. That's the biggest wire in the house. That's you the know. fire wire. That's the biggest. <laughs> <laughs> it's where all the fire comes all and goes. The f- all the flames in your house come through your fire wire. <laughs> Gotta be careful. I'm just saying. I'm I'm too much of an idiot. If I learn something, I'll do it. I won't ask, but like. If I know I can't do it, I'm happy for someone else. Yeah, but I'm, what doesn't make I'm sense to me is that you set up the studio, Absolutely, right? yeah. With cameras that are worth more than and I don't know fire wires. Here's the thing. Freddie, we, right, got, we got a man. <laughs> so me, me, and, me and Dan set the podcast up, and then me and Dan couldn't be asked figuring out how to edit. So we got <laughs> Carl in. And then there was so much for him to do, we got Finn in. Yeah. And then Matthew pretty much knows how to do everything, so we get him to fit everything they can't do. <laughs> then we got these cameras, and we were like, we should probably get Will Hutch in to just do all the cameras. And then, then we the business was going a, so well, and, then we were like, and we I a, couldn't we do that. Slash business manager, so we got Steve in. So they, you, you've used a bad example there. <laughs> this podcast is entire evidence of me and Dan <laughs> not wanting to do anything <laughs> and just hiring everyone it takes. I mean, we don't have to ever press a button that we don't want to. Shout out I'm, Harry Robinson who I'm does the, the prep. i of this podcast and I don't know how to turn them cameras on. <laughs> <laughs> and that is a fact. All you of don't you, know where all the fire of you wire. literally exist because you just outsourced your job to someone else. Exactly. You're like Russian and dolls of incompetence. Yeah, I'm not the fucking <laughs> top, mate. Okay. What you do, you get someone who can do it better than you and it works better. Oh my God. Should we do some have words? Tell us all the problems you have with your friends. This is gonna be the whole podcast. Now it's just a final jingle. Thanks for being a listener. Um Alexander- I can't I can't listen to this because I always I tried listening back when you guys first started. I tried after lockdown when you started getting guests, I tried listening. But I can't do it because you, you're my mate. Yeah, so it makes me yeah. feel like I want to chip in. And I watch yours, but okay, that's up to you. What's the question then? <laughs> 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 I tried to listen to yours, but it's I just shite. got a man to do it. <laughs> it He's killed himself. This is weird. I've never watched anything you've ever done. <laughs> Alexandra says, can you have a word with my fella Pete who insists on hiding cash around the house? He's self-employed and doesn't want to pay tax on everything, which I get. But everywhere you look in the house, there's wads of cash. It's like the fucking Sopranos without guns, which we'll fucking need Spoilers. if someone breaks now I know in. There's guns in the Sopranos. And cash. Tell him to work something out because he's not listening to me. That's from Alexandra. Now nah, do you lad fucking ignore this? She is trying to encroach on your life. Like they tend to do. In your Sorry, life. what sort of middle class bullshit of a problem is this? Oh, I'm really annoyed that my boyfriend leaves loads of money around the house. You used to do that. Your old house. Great. No, not anymore. There was just like a note everywhere. Do you remember? Yeah. Yeah. Just like so. I, if I've got cash, I just sort of just leave <laughs> it. <in. laughs> it's my flat. It's still in my flat. I've still got it. So when I used to... <laughs> Probably shouldn't mention this. When I used to deal, I had a shoebox. And what I used, you used to deal you were whoa. in the casino? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I used to deal a couple of times. Deal what? Mm. Coffee. Not marijuana. Coffee pods. Um, used to be a drug dealer. Right, okay. So I... <laughs> so... Um, so I did it in 2014 and 2015 in Edinburgh. I brought up three ounces in 2014. I brought up nearly five in 2015. That's what of smack. Dealing. What's that, Smack. No, just of weed. It's one oh. of the easier borders to smuggle drugs across, isn't it? To Mate, be fair, the was... English-Scottish border, <laughs> not quite as bad. So so the first time that I went up in 2014, I was doing big value. That's drug pushing, and by the way. Not in order dealing. to make it work, we... Um, uh, I, I, like, I literally just brought up three ounces a week because me and my mate were growing weed at the time. Should I be mentioning this? This is all a joke. This is all a joke. Yeah, of course, it's a comedy podcast. And then on the the fifth 
um, a, a 2015 when I was doing AAA, I came up and I was like, well, I'll bring five ounces this time. And it was like, it's God, a ridiculous amount. you've got amount. a big arsehole, you. Go right. On. <laughs> and I went. It's not even related to the story. And there were, there were dogs <laughs> everywhere. You just remembered. <laughs> there were... There were dogs everywhere and sniffer dogs and shit. And I fucking Where? shat myself. In the car? Edinburgh Waverley. <laughs> oh, uh, right. The train station. Yeah. yeah. Not a tea <laughs> bag. <laughs> fucking hell. Who's put these sniffer dogs in my car? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, sorry? Like no, no, no. That's I didn't get dealing, caught. By the way, that's not drug dealing, by the way. I've thought about getting into... Now to... that I've got a bit of money, I've thought about getting into the drug world. <laughs> I, I, I used to deal... I used to deal a little bit when I was like... No, you eight, didn't. You 18. pushed. I used to deal... You were a drug dealer. Okay. Carl, Carl. So, you know in the law, if you like move well, large amounts of drugs to then sell, pushing, you still get fucked judicially. Yeah, but he's, judicially. he's like he's fucking Curtis Warren. I have thought about getting into selling drugs. I haven't done it yet, so they can't get me for it, can they? What did you say? But I have thought about it. <laughs> Thinking's not a crime, is it? Yeah. No. I think the intent is, yeah. I've just, no, like, not. I've got a bit of money and I want, you know, other ways of, I want to <laughs> create, like, um, passive income. So I'm thinking of getting a team of children, <laughs> teenagers. Yeah. Or to just, yeah. Yeah, go down the To orphanage. just do me dirty work for me, because I've got a bit of money and I want to triple it. Do so it in different drugs. counties. Oh, Liverpool's got a good market, I think. Right. <laughs> and all the fucking pussies random, who are dealing with them, they can be That's fucking so, so thing, when they, oh, no. oh yeah I know what county lines are I thought you were saying to him just drug dealing in Somerset <laughs> <laughs> I think you do well so Liverpool's when, a bit edgy when you have all these children that are pushing all the drugs for you yeah. and they get caught and yeah. that gets back to you and you get fucked I'll have the police in my pocket it's no tribunals rule as well okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have the police in my pocket I'll pay them off <laughs> Right, cut. okay. So if you're paying yeah. the police off, why Officer do you need the Johnson, children? How are we, lad? Here's two tickets to the Philharmonic. You know what I'm saying? Why Why do you need the children if you're paying the police off? Why? Well, if you're paying the police off... Double security. <laughs> from what? Because you paid the police off. Pay the yeah, police to do it. Because I still want a bit of distance in case one of the police turns on me. If they become a double agent and they work for the fuzz. The police. So, so wait. <laughs> so, so if a policeman becomes a double agent, if a policeman becomes a double agent, he's just doing his fucking job. It's a quintuple agent. <laughs> he's just doing what he's paid to do. Yeah, you know, double, double, double agent cunt. policeman. It's just a policeman. I don't know whether you know about this. I've got a natural aversion to pig cunts, so I don't trust them. So I need the kids involved as well. A double agent policeman. <laughs> Look at his face. I love it when he gets like this. He's like, I'm just going to say things and watch the world burn. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Can't give a fuck. I'm going to say it. Get the kids involved. Get the kids involved. <laughs> but I think it is a wise investment, drugs, isn't it? What People are, you are always going to do drugs. Fact. Smack. Yeah, anything. Now, what are you going to do with the rival gangs of Liverpool? The Chechens, the uh, no Chechen. Belgians. Belgium, the Belgian, the cold. <laughs> I can't understand you, mate. You're a bit nasally. <laughs> I wonder where that's from. I'm from Belgium. I'll just have a sit down with them. Oh yeah. I'll arrange a sit down at that at that shop. Kelly's wines. Kelly's wines. <laughs> Get the Flemish. Get the Flemish. Who are, who are the other drug gangs? Not Chechens, you say? No, we've got the Flemish. We've got the Cornish. The triad. Oh, the, the Cornish Chinese triad. triad. The Cornish yeah, triad. Yeah. <laughs> They'll only meet you at one shop. I can't work out whether or not these are all callbacks or whether or not you're just making it up on the spot. <laughs> We're just making it up, Fred. Oh, okay. Freddy, yeah. taking. I don't get what you're doing. <laughs> Is this an ad lib? I'm, uh, yeah, I'll just sit them down and go, look, lads, there's plenty of room for all of us here. Maybe we could advertise each other. That's how put my posters up in your gaffs. Honestly, that's how drug <laughs> gangs work. They're like, do you know what, guys? We need an we need another share given yeah. to a new gang. Yeah, I'm not gonna. It's just me though, isn't it? I'm a sole trader. Those famous gangster films where everyone cooperates. Yeah, and collaborates. They're, they're not documentaries, are they? <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Do you need any heavy? Do you, I don't think are you any gonna of need you know how the drug underworld works? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Let us know how it goes. <laughs> Adam Road, Adam Road decapitated on day three of being a drug baron <laughs> by the Cornish. Pasty flakes. That's that's why they pasty flakes on the body. You're fucking with the wrong cunt, you. Who's in your team? Who's who's your Stay out of Somerset! What? Who's your underbosses? Who's your underlings? Well, you can have first names if you want. Oh, you're a lieutenant. I'm a capitano, yeah. I'm a big guy. Yeah. I'm up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be your first customer. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't know if this is the time to mention about the time I got technically kidnapped, but we can. No, it's not. (laughs) Thanks for listening. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, it is, Freddie. Yeah, (laughs) I got by the Cornish. Seventeen, eighteen. I was a little shit and that. I got technically kidnapped in pen with them. Uh, Broadgate. Oh yeah, the Broadgate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a shithole. And uh, I got led into this over uh, the water house, and it was like a proper shithole. And then a guy. There were like loads of people. He looked like a fucking smack den, right? And there were loads of people just playing like FIFA or whatever. And then there was this guy that came up to me. His name was, should I say his name? Fuck it. His name was Slater. Um, and he hit me uh, in the face, but he hit me with the worst punch that I've ever had in my entire life. It was like he hit me, but like this side just sort of clipped my ear. And so I just sort of stood up and I was like, Okay, but then I thought to myself, like... I'm next on FIFA, so I'm going nowhere. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, look, if I stay up, he's just going to punch me again. It might hurt next time. So I'm just going to fall on the floor and, like, take a dive. But <laughs> I'd been like... It took me about three seconds to think of that. And so he hit me like that. And I went, ah, like that. And then I fell to the floor. And then people started kicking me. And then somebody um, uh, got some bungee cord and tied it around my legs. And then there was a hook on the wall. And then somebody hooked it up like that. And I think the idea was to sort of hang me upside down. <laughs> but you were too heavy. But I was too heavy, so I just sloped on the side. Just lay on the floor. And I just sort of looked like a sack of potatoes for about half an hour. And what did he want? Right. I'm, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. I, what I, did they want? I'm very close to, to calling bullshit. Okay. But it's, is this real? Yes. What did they want? What's well, sorry. What did they kidnap you for? So at the time, I was dealing a little bit, but also as well, the guy called Slater was going out with a girl called LJ. I, should I mention? Oh, I've oh mentioned these God. names. And I'd apparently upset Slater her. and LJ? Yeah, they're was not this... real, Dan. He's making them up. It's like fucking Saved by the Belt. Go on. Well, that's it. That's the end of that story. Again, I was about 16, 17, So they 18. kidnapped you because you was dating a girl? No, I'd, I'd fucking... And who paid the ransom to get you back? What? Who paid the ransom to get you back? No, I just I just left. Just I was literally... So, so literally... That's not kidnapping that. So literally, right... Well, I said you got invited to someone's house, he slapped you and let you go. I, I said That's not kidnapping, is no, it? No, no, no. The slapping bit wasn't the worst bit. The getting kicked was the worst bit. So that went yeah, on Yeah, because that's because you, in a fight, you got punched and then decided tactically to lie down. <laughs> it I isn't took a, a famous. I took a fairly m- decent dive. I thought. Yeah, but it's not, a, it's not a famous move though, is Freddy it? He does like a lie down though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what I do as well. But I got kicked fucking loads, and then I remember a girl kicked me right in the face, and she was wearing Rockies, and you know what they were fucking like? Oh, Rockies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rockies. Fucking bastard. But yeah, I was literally just dank. So I think what they thought in their mind is that they were going to hang me upside down, and then that was going to be like a thing, but. Because I was too heavy, I just sort of sloped at the side. And so my legs and my torso were dangling up like that. But then my shoulders and my head were like still on the floor. How well, long if were you this ever gets turned into a film, do you think it would be right for a thin actor to wear a fat suit? <laughs> 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 what a shit film. <laughs> 15 minutes. Broadgate on. nights. I'm just going to go, boys. Yeah, right. <laughs> So, in conclusion, uh, Alexandra, just tell him to get a Monzo account or something. <laughs> Oh shit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well Nothing wrong with hiding money around your house, keep it away from those that uh, the powers to be, the matrix. Yeah, just don't hide it in stupid but get good hiding places. Do you know what I mean? Hide like, it in your stuffed animals. Safe. Toby Haydock got five grand nick from under his bed in a sock. You're like, where's we're really gonna look? In, in a it? sock? He put five grand in a sock. Well, like a s- like a Christmas stocking. No, he just like he thought, <laughs> I need to keep this. What do you mean, like a Christmas stocking? Five grand? That's not much. Yeah, it notes. wasn't in pound coins, Freddie. It was in notes. <laughs> yeah, but even so, that's too much for a sock, isn't no, it? No, yeah, that's a wedge. how big your feet are? It's all 20s. Yeah. Where would you hide it in your house? I mean, this is a bad question. because I wouldn't. Have Where would you hide five grand in your house? I wouldn't. I keep all mine in my bre- me bread bin. I keep all mine next to the rifle next to my bed. <laughs> <laughs> Which they'll also steal. No, it's just tied to me hand. All right, okay, cool. Fred, where would you have five grand in your house? What a bad question this is. Where would I add five grand in my house? Just keep asking it. Up uh, your ass. Up your massive ass. Probably. Arsehole. Oh, shit. Pro- yeah, probably bedroom under the bed. I think it's got to be like as close to you as possible, like in the nighttime. That's what people think, though. 
you just hide it as, as far away from you as possible. Don't even keep it in yours. Put it in your next door neighbours. Australia? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Flat to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> money in Australia. Just take the five grand, throw it out the window, <laughs> so not even you know where it is. <laughs> yeah. Then... If you, they attempt to torture you by kind of putting you upside down. Yeah, yeah I literally don't know, lads. You won't literally play. 17 smackheads. Stop playing FIFA! This guy's fucking massive! Amazing. Um, Just put it in the bank. Are we? Yeah, probably. We're done, aren't we? We done. Yeah. I want to do one more. Can we do one more? No, no we're All done. Right. Fred, we know what to do, yeah. Freddie, tell us what we need to do. You're going on tour with Rob I'm Warhol. going on tour. We're doing uh, Dead Men Touring. Uh, we're doing in May. We're doing... Glasgow, Liverpool, Manchester, Leeds, Birmingham, and London. Uh, it's me and Rob both doing stand-up. Uh, you have to sit through Rob, but then you get to watch me. Uh, tickets are available at www.deadmentalkpod.com. I'm a, I've got the Comedians Club Chester on Saturday the 14th of January. If you fancy coming to one of the nicest places in the Northwest to see one of the best bills you'll ever see in a very nice venue with me, comparing comediansclubchester.com. Who's on? Uh, it's Bobby Mayer opening, Haley Ellis middle, Mick Ferry close, me compare. Oh, that's lovely. I'm doing your uh, comedians thing you in are, April. In, this, in the April, yeah. yeah. Um, my special, as you've cool. seen at the start of the episode, is out on Wednesday, the 11th of uh, January, which is also my birthday. Just please watch it, uh, comment on it, like it, share it, send it, put it in your WhatsApp groups, just sp spread the word. I wanted to get as many views as possible. It's cost a lot of money to get it done. Uh, we've paid for it myself. And it is going on YouTube. So there's not going to be any money coming back from it. I just want people to fucking see it. So watch it, share it, comment, show. help us with the algorithm. Um, and I've got another special coming out in February. I know Dan's is coming out in a couple of weeks as well. But do me a favour. Wednesday the, the 11th, 25th. watch it, share it, get it sent round. Please, if you don't mind. Uh, okay. Vote, vote have a word .com as well. Please keep them coming. On the National Comedy Awards. Yeah, please keep voting. Please keep telling everyone to vote for us because we need to win. Yeah. Love you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you, Freddie. S we Thanks got for having me. Music. Oh, oh. Finn, have you got a fucking song or something? Uh, Irish hip hop. So the guy confused me. He said it's not Irish hip hop, but and I thought it was Irish hip hop. Yeah. So it's just hip hop. That's a confusing this sentence. Is, this is some Stafford based hip hop. Shut is, up, is Staffordshire right? hip hop. Yeah, Staffordshire hip hop. Nice one. This He's gonna guy. sell drugs there soon. This is a guy called Pud. <laughs> but I love him. Yeah. He's really big. I love Pud. There's a song called Scripted. <laughs> 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 Adam's going to listen to it right now. <laughs> my uh, my dad used to call me Pud when I was a baby. Why was that, Fred? Because I was fat. <laughs> Pod, <laughs> mate, try walking around Stoke. You're gonna be in trouble, man. Pod on the pod. Oh, there's a podcast. Pod. <laughs> Go on, Adam. Adam's gone. Let's do another five minutes. What do you think about? <laughs> 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 no, watch Adam special, but also listen to Pod. Go on. What are you singing? Scripted. It's a tune called Scripted. All right, get on it. It's just on the audio. Yeah. Sounds shit. Appreciate you, everyone. Thanks very much. Hey, uh, Dan, quick question. What did you get from HMV? You what? His master's voice. The headphones. Oh, cool. Did you just look at the Stalin notification? No, no I just seen the bag on the floor. All right. Good. P enjoy, Pud. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you came back.